Hello everybody, it's me, Italian Gamer Joe, your favorite Italian streamer. Welcome to a new night of streams. Hang on one second. Okay. For some reason, like, my volume is, like, really low and I'm trying to figure out why. Anyway. Hello, welcome on in, Blue, Guava, Mitra, Janizi. I see we got some awesome people here tonight. Hope you're all having a wonderful night. Um... I know I'm excited and um, I'm just fixing my volume controls. Okay, I think that sounds better. Welcome on in everybody. Hope you're all having a wonderful night. If you are a detective in sneaks and you're powering through a workout and you saw my notification and you were just like, oh, Italian Gamer Joe is live. I'm gonna go watch him. Then you know what? Welcome on in. If you're a detective that's just, you know, chilling, you're chilling in bed, you're chilling in bed and you're just like, <gasps> oh my god, Italian Gamer Joe is live. And then you're just like... <sighs> let me let me go ahead and watch Joe. By the way, this is a back pillow that I'm using because it supports my back and makes it feel better. Anyway. <laughs> if you are a detective on the road and you're just driving home and you saw my notification pop up on your phone and you're just like... Oh, Joe is live. Joe is live. I'm gonna give him a wa I'm gonna give him a listen because we listen and drive. <laughs> then welcome on in to Italian Gamer Joe. Hope you're all having a wonderful day, evening, whenever you are, wherever you are, however you happen to be watching this evening. Hope you're just having a wonderful night. Like I said before, we got some lovely people in the chat tonight. We got the Candy Girl. We got Blue Spectrum. We got Meatra. We got Guava. We got Pokeboy Joshi. We got Janeezy. We got Meatra. 
We got stream elements. That's just the, that's just my bot. Welcome on in everybody. And once again, hope you're all having a wonderful evening. Today is part two of Nancy Drew, the Captive Curse. This is part two. If you miss part one of the Captive Curse, you can watch it here on Twitch for probably another month, maybe two months actually, since I have Twitch Turbo. But you can watch it for another two months, and then I'm also going to be uploading it to my YouTube channel for the Nancy Drew game walkthroughs, so feel free to check it out there as well. And uh, yeah, I hope that you're all having, I hope that, yeah, if you, if you enjoyed it, feel free to check it out. Basically, um, we just started the game, like we just started the game. So if you so don't worry if you missed it you didn't really miss much we literally like just started the game I made a bunch of jokes about like Nancy just you know being more annoying than Lucas uh, so we just it, it's very I was just being very silly and uh, if you're here for some silly then you've come to the right place um, but yeah that's pretty much how the game is going so far um, we ended up becoming more annoying than Lucas. Lucas, you know, runs away from us now. Lou says, I finally had time to stop by. Yeah, thank you so much for coming in. I saw you on Tina Balducci's stream earlier. And um, I didn't get, unfortunately, I couldn't get a chance to finish uh, Tina's stream, but um, I hope she had fun playing Dark Side Detective. Um, Meet Russ says, show the boobs for Anya's character. <laughs> We're going to be meeting Anya tonight, so get ready. Get ready. Mystery on our hands time. Uh, we did complete Waverly at Waverly Academy, which I have to upload the walkthroughs for that. That's great. I'm glad that Tina had some fun with that one. Um, I played Dark Side Detective, but I did not play it on stream. Three bonus cases. Oh, wow. Is Tina playing the first game or is she playing the second game? I think she's playing the first game. Um, the first game. That's what I thought. Yeah, because the second game just came out, I think. And it looks really good. Thank you for thank you for um, answering that. But yeah, I, I'm gonna play it at some point. I, it looks really fun. Um, I like that Tina is taking a break from Nancy Drew games and she's like expanding her horizons and playing other adventure games. Um, that is something I've always said for my it's help for my channel. Once I I only have five Nancy Drew games left, it's just five. So once I finish um, all the Nancy Drew games, I'm kind of gonna do something similar to Tina Balducci. I'm going to be expanding my horizons and playing other adventure games. Um, so I'm excited to be doing that as well. I mean, let's face it, we're all adventure game streamers. We all kind of like are in the same bubble. And uh, it's, a, it's a pretty cool bubble because, you know, we all get the opportunity to play the same games. We all get the opportunity to, to support each other. Um, and. It's funny because even though we're all in the Nancy Drew community, we really are just at, at its core, we're all just adventure game streamers. We're all friends with each other. We all support each other's communities and we all love to support the genre that we love to do together. So it's exciting for me to be a part of this community and to uh, get the opportunity to get to know some amazing people that are also awesome adventure game fans. And I, uh, it's, it's an honor. Uh, Guavo says, and Ella is returning to Nancy Drew soon. She is. Ella Element is returning to Nancy Drew. She did say that last time I raided her. So um, I'm really excited to see Ella play a Nancy Drew game. I think I saw her play Silent Spy last time. So we'll have to see what she does next. Anyway, um, before we jump in, I do want to share some Super Spy Academy news. Um, for those of you that don't know, Super Spy Academy is the video game that I'm making. It's the indie game that I'm making. Um, I uh, Currently, I am in the process of just working on some 3D environments. So um, that is something that I am in the process of getting the opportunity to finish up. Um, some of the, fun the funny thing about like my game development, um, I'll just share some like exclusive I'll share some exclusive Italian gamer Joe behind the scenes. Um, what I do is I have a sketch pad. Um, uh, if you like to draw or you have like certain ideas, I recommend purchasing a sketch diary. Um, that's what I use. And then I have mechanical pencils because I just, I love mechanical pencils. And what I do is I draw my environments. So as you can see, these are blueprints that I created for my game. And these are just blueprints of various environments that you'll be seeing in Super Spy Academy. 
So there's going to be a ton of different environments in Super Spy Academy. And what I do is I basically, um, I draw the environments on my sketch pad. Like, I look like Charlie from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, where he's piecing together, like, all the papers on the wall. Blue Spectrum says, um, there, will, there will be voice acting. There will be voice acting. Um, you're an artist, too? That's really cool. I didn't know that. Um, but, yeah, so I, I draw out, like, the blueprints. And then what I do is I start creating the 3D areas in my game of how I'm visualizing the blueprints in my head. And then what I do is I walk around these environments and I basically like walk around and I tell myself, okay, is this, is this like spacious enough? Is it not spacious enough? Can I decorate it? And basically I just kind of go through these environments and I, um, and I see how I feel. And sometimes like what I'll do is I'll rotate the environment. So if I don't like it, I'll flip it and make the environment like long ways instead of like, you know, like long ways instead of like a width. So I kind of like mess around with it. And then what I'll do is um, I'll send it over to a beta tester that I'm working with. And then the beta tester will like give me their opinion. So that's pretty much what I'm doing. And uh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of fun. And it's really cool getting the opportunity to base to um, to work on this project. Um, for those of you that don't know, if you did not watch my stream from last week, I do have another announcement. Uh, if you did not see from last week, um, Lanny Manella, the voice of Nancy Drew, um, not Midnight in Salem, the original and the, in my personal opinion, the best Nancy Drew. <laughs> Lanny Manella is going to be voicing one of the characters in the game. Um, Lanny will be voicing a faculty member at the academy that the player can go to um, to buy some cool stuff. And uh, yeah, so I'm really excited to get the opportunity to work with Lanny and get some uh, voice lines in the game with her. And uh, that's just going to be, um, she's going to be one of many uh, additional people in the game that will be voicing the characters. So I'm really excited to get the opportunity to do that. Um, Lonnie, I mean, I can't believe she's doing it, and I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. Um, and uh, she's wonderful. If you could please just go click on her IMDb page as whenever you have time. Google her and tap on her IMDb page. Um, that is how you'll support her. Just just, just look her up, Lanny Manella. Uh, Guava also posted her link in the chat. You can tap that as well. Um, that is how you support her and her content um, that will also improve like her search engine optimization. So feel free to support Lonnie by just click tapping on her IMDB link or looking her up on IMDB. Um. <laughs> but I'm so honored and I'm so excited and happy to be able to have her in my game. And she, like I said before, she's going to be voicing uh, one of the faculty department. She, she teaches some of the detective classes at the school and players will be able to approach her and basically um, purchase things off her and get talk to her and uh, stuff like that. So it's, it's exciting for me because um, if you ever wanted to like befriend um, like Lo like Lonnie's character, you could do that. And like, it's I'm really excited to get the opportunity to like have that be something um, in the game. And yes, Blue, that is correct. <laughs> So be excited. And um, Super Spy Academy is going well. It's taking me a lot of time. The problem that I'm having right now is just making sure that there's enough content at release. That's the biggest thing I'm trying to work with right now is just making sure I have enough content at the release so that I can deliver um, a game that actually has a decent amount of stuff. Because I wasn't in initially, I was not intending for this to be like a full indie title. But then I kept working on it, and I kept working on it, and I kept working on it, and I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> As a release, this needs more content. Especially if I'm going to put it on Steam and HIO. This need, there needs to be more content. And um, I'm going to be updating the game throughout the year. So you're, the, the launch version of the game will have um, a handful of puzzles, a handful of mini games, a handful of locations to explore. But the... Um, the I will be continuously updating the game. Um, I'm working with some streamers on Twitch. Uh, if you go and watch the YouTube trailer uh, for the game, um, I asked some streamers to to cameo in the game. So Chillspot has confirmed that they'll be they'll be cameoing. D Double Bubs has has confirmed. Uh, Tina Balducci has confirmed. Dognet has confirmed. Um, Element has confirmed. 
Mitra has confirmed. Um, am I forgetting anyone? Oh, I have one more. I have one more, and this one is one that I don't, I haven't actually like acknowledged yet, but because uh, it just happened recently. Um, Story Retold, aka Little Jackalope, has also confirmed. So I don't know if any of you are familiar with Story Retold, aka Kalina, aka Little Jackalope, but um, she is um, a big Nancy Drew super fan. She used to work at her interactive. Um, now she makes her own content and she's basically a streamer herself. Um, but, um, story retold, AKA little jackalope, AKA Kalina, she'll also be cameoing in the game as well. So I'm really, really excited to get the opportunity to work with these lovely people. Um, and that's, that list is not exhaustive. So there, there might be more cameos throughout the year. Um, there might be more situations. If you are a big Nancy Drew super fan and you're like, oh my God, I want to be in the game. Um, maybe we can talk about it, but maybe just let me know. We can work together. But, um, yeah, I, uh, like I said, that list is not exhaustive. Um, the reason why I chose those specific people is because I've done collaborations with them in the past. Um, I've done like Nancy Drew drinking game streams. Um, I've, uh, worked with some of these streamers in the past, uh, as like, and I've gotten the, I've gotten the chance to get to know them much better. So it, for me, the, it was just an obvious choice to pick these streamers and, it's I, it's been a wonderful opportunity to get to work with them, um, but that list is not exhaustive, and I'm totally up for more cameos. Um, if that's something that you're interested in doing, maybe we can talk about it. But um, yeah, I'm keeping it very open. Um, at launch, I don't think there's going to be any cameos, but as the year goes on, I might be doing like monthly cameos. But we'll see. We will see. Um, anyway, let's just jump into Nancy Drew. I'm really excited to jump into Captive Curse. It's been forever, and um, I'm really, really excited to jump in. Pokeboy says, I'm always forgetting to ask, does Nancy have a dog? She has a dog named Togo, but Togo only appears... Actually... I don't think Togo appears in any of the games. I could be mistaken. Gooba and Jetpack, do you know? I know you're in here. Mitra, I think you're in here too. Candy Girl, you're in here. Hot Dog Couch is here. He's on her laptop in Secret of the Scarlet Hand. Oh, you are a professional Nancy Drew super fan, Gooba. Thank you for, thank you. I had no idea. I forgot. Can we get a shout out for Hot Dog Couch, please? Um, and a shout out to Gooba and Jetpack as well. Um, but yeah, welcome on in. Let's just jump in. I'm excited. Let's jump in. Uh, let's go ahead and get this game started. So here we are. Um, it's going well. We're just, we literally like just started the stream. Um, I'm in the process of getting ready to get this stream going. So here we are at uh, my Steam page. I'm going to go ahead and launch the game. And let us jump right in. Hi, I'm Nancy. You can see he's like screaming it every time. She, Nancy screams, she screams it. Uh, Candy Girl, thank you so much for the sub. I really more appreciate hilarious that. More than Carl playing with dolls. Greater storyteller than <laughs> Renata. More adorable than Lucas and bigger than Anya's oh boobs. My God. You are amazing, Joe. Oh my God. Thank you so much, Candy Girl. Thank you. You've been an amazing friend. Um, and I really appreciate, you know, that I really appreciate the subscription. That means a lot to me. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Like, really, thank you. I, um, when I finish the Nancy Drew games and, you know, when I start to like, oh, when I start to like, um, expand my horizons, we're going to be doing a lot more Sea of Thieves and you are invited, Candy Girl, to play Sea of Thieves together again. We have to play. We have to go through all of the Sea of Thieves tall tales. So let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Goob on jetpack. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. <laughs> Anya's boobs. I know. I know. <laughs> so we're not going to play this board game, unfortunately. We're going to back out because we're not ready. We're not ready for the board game yet. If at any point this game is really loud, let me know and I'll lower it. Um, Where have I seen that picture frame from? That looks very familiar. Interesting painting. I feel like I've seen that before. 
Um, we need to no fear fight <laughs> right. Okay, so what I like about the Burgermeister's like office is that it's just a big library. I like how many books there are. It's very, it's very cool. Oh, do all the cards fall again? Oh, that's bad. I knew it. Look at that mess! I want you to put everything exactly the way it was. Sorry. <laughs> but inscription, I, will. I know, right? It looks like I'll need to get the trays to their original levels. So it goes monster hero magic, monster hero magic, monster hero magic. Um, can we zoom in or do we have to zoom in? Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it doesn't matter. I wish we could zoom in. And we can back out anytime we want, but imagine if I like did this on the first try, I would be like, it'd be insane. Ginger Lizard says this room to me is so lush when my faves, it really is. Nancy just on the go and we're off to another mystery adventure episode. Exactly. Read the book. Oh, oh, interesting. I've seen that image before in one of the paintings here. Thanks, Candy Girl. Okay, so let me take a picture on my phone of the of the cards because I don't think it there's just nine like I, I I'd be shocked if there was just nine I would be shocked and now I'm going to make a list of which one's which that looks like Waverly Academy by the way this looks like Waverly um <laughs> Uh, where's the book? Here we go. Here we go. I mean, okay, so the wolf. Uh, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so the first one I'm looking at is the wolf, and I spelled wolf wrong. One of the cards has a field from Trouble Twister in the background, too. Oh, that's so funny. That is so cool, Gooba and Jetpack. So this type of monster is... Distance, for strength, magic, health, wisdom. Is it... But wait, but where does it tell you what type it is? Oh... It tells you here. Monster. So the wolf is a monster. All right, what's next? The Donkey King. The Donkey King. Okay. Donkey. Donkey. The Donkey is undercover human king. Oh, hero. All right, what's next? We got the Golden Hunter. Magician. Okay, that's magic. The Professor Sparrow. Prof Sparrow is a hero. R.S. Goldthumb is a monster. Sailor Redbeard is a monster. Really? Pirate Girl is a monster? It's a shocker. What's next? Fairy tr Fairy Trigger Magician. Right. Corn can canomir oh yeah this is trail the twister um hero robber um 
monster. Is the rabbit? The rabbit is there. The rabbit is a hero. Enchanted mirror. Magic. Future card design in process. <laughs> I think I'd say Anya. I would say Anya. Okay, so Monster Hero Magic, Monster Hero Magic, Monster Hero Magic. All right, all right. So I'm going to make sure that I put all the monsters together. Or I just randomly I just randomly put the monsters. The robber was a monster. And then the wolf, I think, is a monster. Uh the Donkey King is a hero. The This dude is the sparrow, and it's a hero. The golden mirror is magic. The rabbit is a hero. The hunter is magic. And then the fairy is magic. So now that I like wrote down which ones go to where, I'm just gonna mess around until I get it. I'm gonna just 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 fuck around with it until it, we're just gonna mess around and see if we get it. <laughs> okay. So far, so good. Louis, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to the Italian Gamer Joe community. Um. Oh no! Also, I just realized that the oh, I'm so stupid. These are the guides right here, and I'm not supposed. To, I'm supposed to do it against the guides. So that makes more sense to me. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's see. Ginger, that is exactly how I play all my Nancy Drew games. Mess around until we get it. That is that is the only way I play my Nancy Drew games. Like, I I don't know any other way. I almost got it. I almost got it. No. Okay, how about the hero? Damn it. So close. I'm so close. No. Uh. This is tough. I'm so close. Controlled chaos. It is, it is exactly controlled chaos. Oh, I'm so close. I'm so close. I'm so close, damn it. I can do this. That one's perfect. This one's perfect. No. Damn it. Okay, okay. That fucked everything up. So let's not do that. Let's not do that. We're really close. We're so close. Look at this. We are so close. This one's perfect. These two are not. Oh my gosh. Now I'm really screwing it up. Now it's like really screwing up. Was the hunter magic? Hunter was magic. Okay. Keep the mystery solving going. I know. I know. I know. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for the support, Josh. Oh, no, that's a heavy one. No, but I wonder. I wonder. Got it. <gasps> I got it. Oh, Wait, my God. I got it. What's that? Woo. Okay. We got it. We got it. Carl. Have to translate that. Where's my German dictionary? Okay. Well, I guess I have to just pocket it for now. Thanks, thank you. Did that. Still have to do that. Can't check that off yet. Did Let's that. Let's see. Haven't done that. 
Can't check that off yet. Thanks, Guava. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Let's talk to Carl. Nancy, glad you're here. Big news! The International Board Card and Dice Commission has announced that they will be accepting new games for review. That means I can send Raid in! That's great news. Only... What? I am... I have very bad luck is a simple way of explaining it. All Thanks, Abiba. Have... But this doesn't seem bad. Not yet, but you'll see. Nothing good ever just happens, not in my life at least. I'm sorry you don't want to hear any more of my old man problems. I actually need your help. With what? Since you're the best raid player I've met, will you help me create a new character? I know this probably won't work out, but I want it to be perfect. Sure. Oh, excellent. Yes, I just knew you'd help. Maybe with your help, this wouldn't be such a disaster. I'd like you to help me come up with a new character. It's <laughs> going to be based on the bare-skinned creature from the old tales. Should it be male or female? Male. Male. Thanks. Wait, what are the other questions? Oh. Can you catch me up on Aww. what's been happening with these monsters? Polygon, sightings? welcome on in. Can you get a shout out for Polygon, please? Out. I've never seen people be this nervous. You've got to get to the bottom of this quickly. Paul, how are you doing tonight? You're playing Slash Plane Sims 4. Nice. Nice. Uh, for those of you who are here, please go give Paul a follow. He is a big Sims 4 streamer and a bunch of other things. Uh, super fun to hang out with. And uh, if you watch Bob's Burgers... <laughs> If you watch Bob's Burgers, go check out Paul. Um, welcome on in, Dylan Chan. Home from work, about to have a little snack and watch some zombies on Netflix. Nice, nice. What show? Or do you? I never. Is it the? Is it the new like Korean show that's like that's like the zombie theme or whatever? Or is this like something different, like Walking Dead? All of us are dead. Nice. Oh, it is the Korean show. Yeah, I haven't watched it yet, but I've heard really good things, and yeah. But yeah, thanks for coming in, Paul, and hope you're having a great night. Glad to hear uh, work was good, and yeah, thanks for coming in. Thanks for thanks for jumping on in to say hello. Um, yeah, it looks really good. It looks really good. Um, what has happened with the monster so far? I don't know. I've heard all sorts of things. Magda saw him out in the woods last week. She was out gathering herbs. After a rainstorm, she drops her basket, and when she looked back up, she saw him standing there. She was sure she was going to get it, but the monster just walked away. Where is Magda? Can I talk to her? You can try, but good luck with that. She's bolted her door, and she hasn't come out since Oh my that god. Night. Hey, that one kid. Welcome in. Come to think of it. You should leave her alone. I just want to ask her a few questions. I know exactly what you want to do, and I'm telling you that you need to leave her alone. See you later. Auf Wiedersehen. So what makes this Nancy Drew game so interesting is that Nancy is called in to solve a case. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just uh, turned around. <laughs> uh how's it going that one kid and yeah what makes this nancy drew game so interesting is that nancy is called into a mystery so she doesn't just oh we got a phone call what did you do to ned hi frank i'm serious you better hope his brain is under warranty because you have broken it oh no is he really upset i've never seen him this upset before joe's working overtime to cheer him up I don't know exactly what's going on, but you might want to give him a call. Ugh, this connection is awful. Give me a call when you've got a better line. Let me know what you're up to. Joe and I will keep an eye on Ned. I'll let you go. Bye. Catch you later. Okay, why is it Nancy's fault? <laughs> why is that Nancy's fault? Frank and Joe, why are you never on my side? Damn, now we know whose side they're taking. Rude. Rude. <laughs> Maybe Ned is too. Pr I know, right? Let's say that again. So we're gonna go to. Oh, there's Lucas. We're gonna go to the gift shop because we're gonna buy the German dictionary. Um, if I can find it. Hey, Anya. Bye, Anya. 
Wait, where's the German dictionary? No. All right, let's just talk to Anya. Guten Abend, Frau. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? <laughs> Sprechen Sie... Oh, do I speak German? No, sorry. No, no. I am the one to apologize. Carl, the so this is, Anya. is supposed to tell me a little bit about each guest, like the language you speak and where you're from. This way I can have everything prepared for your stay. But again, he has not done this correctly. I'm Anya. Did you really, Quava? <laughs> I'm in charge of guest services. <laughs> I'm here to help you with anything you need during your stay. By the way, nice everyone... to meet you. I'm Nancy Drew. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Miss Drew. You sure picked an interesting week to visit. You must have a... What's it? A strong heart. What do you mean? What? You don't know? Then it's nothing. It must be something or you wouldn't have said anything. A lot of raid. The castle's worked up in a panic right now, so I have to warn you that your visit here may not be the world-class experience we aim to provide. But I will do my best to make sure that your visit is a happy and safe time for you. So everyone keeps making jokes about Anya's boobs because they think Anya's boobs are really big. <laughs> uh, like Meat Ra over here. <laughs> and Guava and a bunch of other people. Uh, so that's like the, the joke around. That's the joke here. I didn't think that was like a big deal like back when this game first came out. But I guess so. <laughs> Why is everyone a little spooked right now? <laughs> oh, it's... Well, I suppose you'll the more, find I mean, out about I mean, now I'm just staring at them. As well now the I'm just staring at in. them. <laughs> Mind you, don't get upset. Are you the easily frightened type? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. But you do not need to worry about this, I see. How do you say this? There's a monster situation potentially taking shape. A monster situation? Oh, yeah, it is Candy Girl. Right there. Well, that's the buzz around the castle. You need background. V, this castle, has a history. Legend around here says that a monster lives in these woods. Once in a great while, he returns seeking a victim. People think that time is now. Nancy's like, is it a victim or is it a sexual partner? <laughs> Nancy's like, welcome to The Bachelor. <laughs> I'm working with my wonderful client, the monster. How are you doing, monster? <laughs> we are going to find the monster a suitable partner. <laughs> this monster is bisexual, and they will take any suitable human being. Guava says, so scowy. <laughs> oh, man. The Bebo with the German lessons here tonight. Thank you. All right. Let's get back to The Bachelor. What makes everyone think the monster is coming here now? As long as I've been here, people always pointed out signs of his return. Cows would go missing, flocks of sheep would disappear, claw marks would appear on the trees. Everyone would oh my say, God, Guava. <gasps> the monster will be here soon! <laughs> but when he doesn't come, everyone calms down and forgets about the legend until strange things start happening again. Anya's like, Are sexual things. things happening now? Yeah, but uh, Moo? different this time. <laughs> How so? The signs are the same, but everyone is reacting differently. It's spooky. I heard once that before a tsunami, all of the animals will run to a higher ground. They just... know. That is what it is like this time. We all just know. Welcome on in, uh, VW2174. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. Uh, have we met before? I don't think I've ever... Have we talked before? I, I'm, I feel like I've maybe have talked to... Or is this... I, you, you do not look familiar to me. As I go to my stream manager and like look at you, look you up. As I go to the stream manager, oh, I am following you. Okay, spooky streamer. Okay, okay, we talked a while ago. Okay, okay then. Well, welcome on in. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna like minimize the game for a moment just so I can introduce myself we're gonna get a little more intimate here at italian gamer joe we're gonna get a little intimate <laughs> what 
Welcome on in VDub and your community. I'm Italian Gamer Joe and I'm an adventure game streamer here on Twitch. I stream a lot of story rich games. So if you like puzzle games, adventure games, uh, mystery games, then you've come to the right place. I, uh, I'm not only um, a Twitch streamer, but I'm also an indie game developer and I'm making my own game called Super Spy Academy. Um, that will be on Steam and for PC and Mac. So um, not only am I a Twitch streamer, but I'm also this. I'm also just a bunch of things. I'm like a hobby collector. <laughs> so um, welcome on in. Hope you're having a wonderful evening, and thank you so much for the raid. Thank you for sharing your community with me. It's really nice to meet you, V Dub, and thank you so much for taking the time to consider me for the raid. Um, you were last playing Someday You'll Return. That sounds really interesting. Can you explain what it is for us? Is it like an adventure game, a horror game? Um, it sounds wild. Someday you'll return. Ooh. Ooh. And also, um, V-Dub, have you played the Nancy Drew games before? Or anybody from V-Dub's community? Have any of you played Nancy Drew before? Um, if you haven't... Do I got a game series for you. <laughs> um... The Nancy Drew games, there's about 33 currently out right now. They are 3D point and click adventure games for PC and Mac. Um, Lenny Manella voices uh, Nancy Drew, and they're really cool games. The community surrounding these games is just insane. There's thousands of Nancy Drew fans out there, and there are so many Nancy Drew fans here on Twitch. There's lots of Nancy Drew streamers. Um, there are lots of amazing community members out there, and we all do like Nancy Drew drinking game streams. Um, we just, we're all just a big like Nancy Drew bubble, and a lot of us are Nancy Drew adventure game fans, and you just pair it all together, and you got <laughs> this big community. <laughs> So, um, welcome on in. Thank you so much again for the raid. That is super kind of you. And um, I actually was following you previously, V Dub. So I'll have to check out your VOD or something. I'll have to like go look check you look you up again. Um, but once again, thank you so much for the raid. That is really really kind of you. And for those of you that are here, welcome to the Italian Gamer Joe community. Welcome to the Italian Gamer Joe channel. Um, I stream. Um, every other day typically for about an hour and a half and i mostly play adventure games like nancy drew i'm also going to do more sea of thieves uh, at some point um mostly adventure games so if you're looking for an adventure game experience then you come to the right place um i am a big goofball and i love to just make jokes um so <laughs> if you're looking for another gay person that just makes dumb jokes then you've come to the right place um this is an LGBT inclusive safe space. Uh, we, I also uh, created this channel to be a safe space for people with anxiety. So um, feel free to come on in, have fun with us, and just enjoy yourself. Enjoy the content, enjoy the community. And uh, once again, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you. Thank you. Mwah. Here's some Italian hands. Some Italian hands for you. <laughs> Yay, Sea of Thieves, Joe is wholesome, funny, cutie. Oh, Dylan, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That's really, really kind of you to say. Um, also, if you are a follower of my community, feel free to check out my Discord. I have self-promo, so you can absolutely... If you are a Twitch streamer, feel free to promote yourself on my Discord community. You are more than welcome to do so. Um, I also have a YouTube channel, Italian Gamer Joe, so you can check out my past VODs. Um, I also do just a variety of content on there, um, including content that I don't even stream on Twitch. Like, for example, I do Beat Saber. So um, if you want to check out my Beat Saber walkthroughs, check that out as well. Um, but yeah, so welcome on in and enjoy your time. Let's jump back in, Nancy Drew. Here we go. All right, so... Back Hi, to the mystery I'm solving business. The signs are the same, but everyone is reacting differently. It's spooky. I heard once that before a tsunami, all of the animals will run to a higher ground. They just know. That is what it is like this time. We all just know. We all just know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I'm just like shocked at like at her like <laughs> Nancy's like do you know the monster's type do you know his zodiac sign what can you tell me Nancy's about the like monster? what's the monster's shoe size I don't know Nancy 
A lot of the older people here say they've seen it, but none of them will say what it looks like. Why not? Not sure. Maybe they didn't see it. Maybe they did, and they don't want to remember. But everyone will tell you about the strange things that have been going on. Like what? Look, I could get into a lot of trouble for telling you things like this. Can you promise me that you won't tell <laughs> anyone that I am telling you this stuff? Nancy's like, Nancy's like, do I have to put out for this? <laughs> I promise. Okay. For the last little while, there have been these weird howls from the woods. The sound, it's no animal I've ever heard of. And it is definitely not human. It sounds... I heard the... I don't know. Frustrated. I heard something. At night, you can hear the thing. It's circling the castle, getting closer each time. It's terrible. Oh, there's been a subscri Oh, probably a YouTube subscription. Because I... Yeah, for whoever, whoever subscribed to my YouTube channel, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, thanks, Dylan. I appreciate that. Thank you. I don't have my my alert box set up for the um, YouTube YouTube subscriptions, but thank you for subscribing to my YouTube. That means a lot. Expect some fun YouTube channel content. Um, let's see. What's a Castellan? I'm in charge of the overall guest experience here. Carl, who you may have met earlier, is the Burgermeister. Sort of like the mayor. Or, I mean, that's what he would really be if he actually did any work. I'm sorry, that wasn't really appropriate. Long day. <laughs> Anya's like, he needs to just get off his ass and do something. Sorry, sorry, long day. <laughs> Anya's like, I do everything around here. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm just imagining her just like constantly being like just constantly like <laughs> throwing shade at him and then she just follows it up with sorry. <laughs> Anya looks towards camera, right? What do you exactly. think of Carl? I think that Carl has been placed on this planet to test my patience. So you two don't get along, I take it. The fact that that man got elected makes me wish we were back in the days when you had to put- Okay, I read that as the fact that that man got electrocuted. Pull a sword out of a stone or a lake or something to assume power. He'd never be able to figure it out. Too many steps. What with the pulling and then the not dropping it and then the remembering to tell people about what happened. Jeez. Do people around here trust Carl? Apparently enough do. He's still got the job. So, how did you get such a cool job? I get asked that all the time. It's really fun here and pretty competitive. I got my job <laughs> working my Thanks, way on managing smaller households and attractions in the area. Then one day, there was an opening. I turned in my resume and crossed my fingers. You've got some great stuff in here. Is any of it for sale? Of course. This shop is very popular with tourists. Most everything is for sale. You'll find the prices listed. Do you believe there's a monster on his way here? What do you want me to say, Nancy? I can't answer anything like that at work. <laughs> Please, I won't tell anyone what you say. <sighs> I do. It's stupid, I know. But there is something terrible out there. I can just feel it. We all can. It's taken everything I've got to stay here through this. What do the people who live here think about the monster? <laughs> Guava, oh my god. Those who can have skipped down. Those of us who really live here. Let's just say you're not going to be finding many open doors on a night like tonight. People are scared. Guava, imagine Nancy's next question is What do you do around here successfully? Or what do you do successfully? And answer fast. <laughs> this monster, does anyone know why it's supposed to be here? Legend says he comes from the forest whenever the girl in the necklace walks the castle halls, and he will stop at nothing to steal her away into the woods. Well, then what happens? No one knows, but these girls, they are never seen again. None of them. You know, Anya kind of looks like Luisa from Encanto. 
Like, I'm just imagining her being, like, pressure, like, a drip, 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 that'll never stop. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> pressure like that'll tip, tip, tip till you just go pop. <laughs> What? Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know. She looks like Louisa. She looks like the buff girl from Encanto. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm just imagining her like breaking out into song, like just so much, just so much. I'm just imagining her just like singing it in German or something. No, now I now I just see Encanto. Now I just see Louisa from Encanto. <laughs> Turner Active did Louisa before Pixar did. <laughs> I'd like to buy some souvenirs, but I'm low on money. Any idea how I could make more? People are always dropping coins around the castle. Oh, and Carl has been offering to pay for people's help on that silly game of his. I'll let you go. Bye. I feel the same. God, now I just think of now I just think of Encanto. I'm just gonna imagine Nancy like just you know. I'm just gonna imagine Nancy just straight up, like just singing Kanto as she walks in here. Like, just imagine Nancy, like, oh my gosh, another phone call. Is it Ned? Nancy, it's Marcus. Cell phone reception is notorious up there. Give me a call back on the landline in your room. I'm just imagining Nancy going into the gift shop and being like, pressure like a drip, 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 and it'll never stop. Oh, whoa. And then she just leaves and then comes back. And then she's just like, <laughs> give it to your sister, your sister's stronger. See if she can hang on just a little longer. And then she, Nancy just runs, runs away. <laughs> Nancy just runs back in and screams. She's like, who am I if I can't carry it all? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm just imagining Nancy just screaming it. And then, and then she just walks out again. And then she's like... Order's ready. <laughs> Can't check that off yet. <laughs> oh my god, Nancy. Nancy is just going to be like, <laughs> Hi, I'm Nancy Drew, and this is my center of operations. My desk runs out. <laughs> Casita is more colorful. Uh, it is. It is way more colorful. Nancy comes back in, she's like, we don't talk about Bruno, no, 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 no. Anya's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Stop it. I've had it up to here with you. We're gonna like freak out Anya and she's gonna ban Anya's gonna ban us from the gift shop. She's gonna ban us. Like we're never gonna be allowed to the gift shop ever again. We're, we're Anya's basically just gonna Anya's just gonna be like, <laughs> just go, go. <laughs> Anya's never gonna trust us. She, we're, we're just gonna like, she's just, she, we're, we're done. The mystery is over. <laughs> no second chances. It's locked. What, what the hell is this? Okay, this castle is scary. This is a big castle. This castle's huge. Like, I don't even know where I am. Well, hello there. This place is ginormous. <laughs> Not if we buy that glass dog. I know, right? Well, I guess we have to call Marcus in our room or something. So, let's go call Marcus. And maybe our dictionary is in here, hopefully. Maybe. Maybe not. <sighs> Is the dictionary in here? This might come in handy. We found it. Sir, we told that door is where the fire breathing dragon lurks, hence the exploding fire. Oh my god. That has to be what it is. It's the final boss story we're told, isn't it? Isn't it? It's the final boss. That's what it is. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Nancy's Marcus, call me back on the landline. Swear we told, you just came in here at the most interesting time. We are all on the belief now that Louis, that Anya is now Luisa from Encanto. That is, and then Nancy just goes into the gift shop just singing <laughs> Luisa's song. That is basically what we are here doing now. Also, story retold, story retold. I have something to tell you. 
I also muted my, my microphone on accident. For those of you that are here, by the way, please go give Story Retold a follow, or I should say subscribe, a subscribe on YouTube because um, she is amazing and she is a Nancy Drew super fan. Uh, her content is fantastic. She doesn't also, she also plays Animal Crossing, Siberia, um, and then a lot of other like cool reaction videos. Like her content is just fantastic. So please go check out Story Retold. Um, Story, have you by any chance seen Turning Red on Disney Plus? If you, you have to go see it because it's a red panda and isn't Story Retold, isn't the, isn't the logo, isn't the logo a red panda or isn't that what your, your, your character is or am I, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Is it not a panda? You're halfway through. Okay. I was going to say, aren't they the same? Isn't it the same character? Because I was, when I saw Turning Red, I was like, oh my god, that's Story Retold's character. That's what I thought. Yeah, it is a red panda. That's what I thought. Because I was, I, was, I was watching it, and I'm like, this has to be LJ's character. Because I, I, yeah, and it's adorable. That movie was so good. I'm just going to say it right now. For those of you that are here, go watch, um, go watch Turning Red on, on Disney+. Plus. It's fantastic. Um, it takes place in 2003, back when uh, Justin Timberlake, Backstreet Boys, Tamagotchi Pets, Nokia flip phones and cell phones were a thing. Like, it's such a homage to the early 2000s. And, and it's not even just that. Like, it, the movie is just fantastic. I cried my eyes out at the end because it's a very emotional film. Um, but it's really good, and I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. Uh, yeah, yeah, Dylan, there's Tamagotchis in the film, and they're referenced a few times, it's really cute, but definitely go check out Turning Red, it's really good, it's all about, it's a really good, like, coming-of-age Disney movie, and, um, yeah, no problem, story we told, thank you so much for just coming in here, uh, I really appreciate that, but, um, yeah, like I said, definitely, for those who are here, definitely go check it out, and, and please go check out Story Retold as well, her content is just amazing, um, Okay, so wait, let's call Marcus. I can't even see Marcus's number. Thank God for the automatic typing. Marcus here. Hi, it's Nancy. So, what's everything look like at the castle? Have you got everything under control? So far. Great, I'm on the way down. I'm about four hours away, but I'll try to be here if you need me. Thanks again for helping me out. It'd be great to have the whole thing tied up by the time I get in. I'll do my best. That's what I'm expecting. I'm bringing some foreign investors to the castle tomorrow. Big money, big time investors. I, I mean like stupid rich. Like, happy birthday, I got the town in France you wanted rich. I want everything tied up with a neat bow. Signed, sealed, delivered, stamps the whole hundred yards. You're like my personal stylist here. You gotta make me look good. Stylist? I'm here to get rid of the monster, right? Nancy, business is built on metaphors, fast talking and self-aggrandizing anecdotes. Like the time the Prime Minister told me that my yacht was fantastic. Right. I knew you'd be a fast learner. That's my favorite type of learner. Favorite of a car, too. You prove yourself to me in this case. <laughs> I see big things in your future. Look at me. I started as small like you. Now I've got four houses. Three in Berlin and one somewhere. Told my realtor to surprise me. Really should track it down someday. Also, I own a castle, but you know that. Mark, what the? <laughs> okay, well, Marcus is like total rich guy vibes over here. Um, honestly, it was nice to return to having no day night system, less to worry about. Who is he? I have no idea who Marcus is. I have no clue. Um, he's our client, but other than and he owns the castle. But other than that, I, I really don't know. Does anybody know where Marcus comes from? Like, does he come from another Nancy Drew game? I don't think he does. What can you tell me about Anya? Anya's Anya, always has been. I was surprised to find out she was working at the castle, but that's synchronicity for you. Why were you surprised she was working here? We used to date. You and Anya? Oh my god. Really? Jeff Bezos on yeah, not, not that. She didn't mention that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. The breakup didn't exactly go well. Well, no, no breakup goes well, right? That'd be weird. Anya was pretty upset and she ended up acting a little strange. Strange how? It's not really... It, it wouldn't be very gentlemanlike to get into what went on. Let's just say she is the reason that I make sure my shoes are tied before I break up. Wait, what happened? Oh, I'm just being dramatic. It was rough. We got through it. 
When I find out she was working at the castle, it was weird at first, but stranger things have happened. Look, Anya and I have Hala problems, but in business, skill comes first. She's very good at her job, and customers love her. That's good enough for me. Wow, that's spooky. I'm curious to know what happened. Like, what happened between Anya and Marcus? And that's kind of interesting. Like, <laughs> they break up, but Anya gets a job at the castle that he owns. Like, really? It sounds to me like she's not over Marcus, but I, I don't know. It kind of does sound like a workplace sitcom. What do you think of Carl? Uh, he's not my ideal manager, but he does an adequate job when he's not working on that game of his, that is. Oh, the shade. Have you tried Carl's game? No, 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 no. I do not play games. But if I did, I would not play them as Carl. You're the one who broke up with Anya? Yes, I'd rather not get into the specifics, but I did end the relationship. Can you tell me a little bit about this monster? No, other than that it was a terrible timing, which is rude, by the way. I don't deal with these sort of things. I, I hire people to do it for me. I'm big picture, Nancy, like, like a dinosaur's yearbook. I don't do small print. <laughs> Why do you insist that everyone dress up? The castle isn't a hotel, Nancy. I, I'm not renting out a room. I'm providing an experience. I want our guests to create memories that they'll never forget during their visit here. Like seeing a monster? Are you implying that I'm behind the monster sightings? Well, it's not out of the realm mm. of possibility. It is so far out of the realm of possibility <laughs> that it has crossed the sea of you are wrong and landed in the realm of ludicrous accusations. But I do admire your thoroughness. Good hustle. Bye. Call it and it's all finished. Wow, well that was a little intense. <laughs> Um, I'll be right back. Actually, I'm going to do a really quick break segment where cause I'm just going to go get some more water and, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. So please use this time to go and, uh, maybe run to the bathroom or go, uh, get something for yourself. Um, I'll be back after a few minutes. I'm just going to grab some water. So stay tuned, everybody. I'll be right back.
Welcome back everybody to Italian Gamer Joe. I hope you took the time to maybe go to the bathroom or grab a snack or something to drink. I grabbed some ice mountain water. It's nice and cold and ready for the next mystery. How many of you are ready to continue this Nancy Drew mystery? Because I know I am. Peppermint Cutie, welcome on in <laughs> up your past your bedtime. That's so funny. Uh, thank you for giving Peppermint Cutie the shout out. I appreciate that, Guava. Candy Girl's Redemption of Hydrate is brought to you by Ice Mountain Water. <sighs> thank you, Candy Girl. Okay, let's jump back into Captive Curse. Okay, so... Here we go. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. As Nancy Drew this screams is my... it. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Okay. Nancy Drew just, you know, she's got to scream it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh my God, who? who? It's the monster. He struck again quickly. Follow me to the courtyard. What did he do? What did the monster do? What happened here? It has gotten past the gates. Uh, this has never happened before. Nancy, this is different now. You better leave. No, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. That is not a smart move. And we'll be your mark as hey. that whatever happens to you is no longer my responsibility. I'd better find a way to put out that fire and fast. All right, we better see up. Thank you so much for the raid, but we gotta put out this fire. We gotta put out five color queer. Thank you for the follow, but we gotta hurry up and put out this fire, because if we don't, we're gonna die. We're gonna. We're <laughs> if we don't put out this fire, we're gonna die. So we gotta hurry up and figure this out. And I don't know where to go. The game is locking me. I don't know what to do. Oh wait, someone broke the window too. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nancy's like, I have this German dictionary. Nancy's like, <laughs> Grizzly, thank you so much for the follow. Oh my god. Nancy's like, let me let me just throw this paper. Let me just throw this paper on it. Nancy's just throwing the paper on it. <laughs> the well. Shh, see dub, don't spoil it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Lieutenant Peppermint, thank you for the fuck. Nancy's like, I got all this, I got this, I got this, you know? Let's just, you know, we're, we got this, we got this. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> yeah, it's the well. <laughs> no, it's okay. Oh no, yeah. I'm I'm totally acting. I'm totally acting. I'm just messing around. Uh, C Dub Gaming, thank you so much for the raid. That's so kind of you. I really appreciate that. Thank you. I'm gonna put out this fire. Okay. The monster did some major damage out okay, here. Okay, so we There's put out something strange stuck in that door. What is it? What a peculiar looking burr. If I can find out where it's a burr? From, that could help me track the monster. A burr. Interesting. Like how Nancy's like, what an interesting looking burr. I didn't even notice that. All right, we're going to go back to chatting for a second. Welcome everybody to the Italian Gamer Joe community. I'm Italian Gamer Joe and I am an adventure game streamer here on Twitch. Um, not only am I an adventure game streamer, but I am also an indie game developer. And I am making um, a game that I'm going to be putting on Steam and HIO. Um, thank you so much, Guava, for gifting a tier one sub to Lieutenant Peppermint. That's really, really kind of you, Guava. Guava, thank you. Thank you, Guava. I really appreciate that. Um, C-Dub, thank you so much for the raid. That is so kind of you. C-Dub, how was Stardew Valley? Did you have fun with Stardew Valley? Um, for those of you that are here, please consider giving C-Dub Gaming a follow. Um, super nice guy. I've been on to, I've been on to some, a, f a few of his Stardew Valley streams and yeah, he's just really nice, really fun person to hang out with and uh, super just chill guy. And he's just, yeah, just, just go check him out. Really, really nice dude. Very awesome content. Um, and uh, C-Dub, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your community with me and thank you for just, um, for the support. I really, really appreciate that. And um, I hope that you had a good night playing Stardew Valley. Tell us, tell us, how did Stardew Valley go? How was, um, how's your farm coming along? Are you making, are you making your grandfather proud? Are you making the grandfather, you know, are you, are you making that farm everything? Are you serving the best farm there is? 
Or have you, uh, you're romancing the town. Oh, man. How, how much romance are we, are we talking here? Are you taking, are you romancing maybe just one lucky individual or are there many, many lucky individuals? Um, but yeah, welcome on NC Dub and welcome on NC Dub's community. Um, C Dub, thank you so much for sharing your community with me. That is so kind of you and I really appreciate it. It's, 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 it's an honor. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Um, for those of you that are here, once again, I'm Italian Gamer Joe, and like I said, I'm a variety adventure game streamer here on Twitch with a focus currently on the Nancy Drew games. Um, Nancy Drew, if you don't know, she is an American teenage detective, and um, she basically goes around the world solving mysteries. Um, she's from River Heights, which supposedly might be in Chicago, I don't know, might be Illinois, I'm not 100% sure to be honest. But uh, it's based on some books by Carolyn Keene. They've been around for almost a century. There's 33 Nancy Drew games. And over the last year, I've completed uh, 27 of them. Uh, I have only five Nancy Drew games left. Just five out of the 33 Nancy Drew games. I only have five left. I'm trying to power through them and finish them so I can start something new. But um, so far, it's been a wonderful journey. And it's been an amazing opportunity to connect with some amazing community members, amazing Nancy Drew streamers, and uh, friends of the community. Um, and that's pretty much who I am. I'm. If you're looking for, you know, a gay dude that loves to make a lot of jokes, uh, if you're looking for a safe space, for an LGBT safe space, if you're looking for um, a place um, uh, to support, like, you know, anxiety and all that, I'm here. I'm just a big goofball. I love to have fun. Um, that's really all this channel is all about. It's just a nice safe space for um, an opportunity to just hang out with another LGBT person. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a gay leaning bisexual. I you know, I'm a gay dude. I, you know, we're, we just have a lot of fun and we're just a bunch of goofball geeks here. Um, I also am making an indie game called Super Spy Academy that I plan to release very soon. Um, if you like adventure games and 3D, like first person shooter type games, then you might love Super Spy Academy. It's going to be on Steam and itch.io. So um, if you want to follow an indie game developer over here, then come check out my content. Um, and yeah, I, I'm all about like positivity. Um, check out my YouTube channel at Italian Gamer Joe, as well as my Discord community. Um, we have self-promotions, so you can feel free to self-promote. Uh, if you're a streamer, you can self-promote on my Discord. Um, what else? Uh, I have giveaways going on. We currently have like a fitness club, a book club. We have a Wordle club. So if you play Wordle, uh, you're more than welcome to post your Wordle scores in my Discord. Um, we're all about just being goofballs and having fun and we're all friends here. So thank you so much again, C-Dub for coming in and for giving us, giving up me that raid. I really appreciate that. And, um, you, I read your comment. Uh, you said that you were trying to get everyone to five hearts so we can start playing Stardew Bachelor. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my gosh. C-Dub. I want to see this. <laughs> I need to see this. I need to see the Stardew Bachelor. C-Dub, next time you go live, I'm going to watch this. I'm going to check you out and we're going to watch this. We are going to check out this bachelor scenario that sounds a wonderful it sounds amazing i cannot wait to see it um but once again everybody welcome on into italian gamer joe i usually stream every other day um i've been streaming a little bit less lately just to prepare for the super spy academy release but um i'm i uh i'm here i'm gonna try to start doing every other day consistently uh just so that i can finally get some more content in uh for my lovelies for my amazing community decipher pup welcome on in and thank you for giving decipher pup the shout out hope you're having a wonderful day decipher pup um and yeah thanks again uh c dub for the raid super kind of you thank you for sharing your community with me i really appreciate that you are awesome and you're amazing and you're handsome c dub and you know thank you again thank you again Mwah. thank you thank you again c dub it's so kind of you if you're still here help you have a great night and um I really appreciate the love and support. Thank you again. And um, I will definitely be around and check out this Stardew Bachelor. I, I'm excited. You you ha you have me. You had me. You had me at um, romancing the town. You had me at romancing the town. <laughs> um, Decipher Pub says, I need more sleeps and always just doing streamer things. Decipher Pub, I don't think I told you this already before, but Decipher, I love your stream is ending splash screen of your pup that's like in bed and he's like i have my where'd my pillow go decipher i love that you're you have like this drawing of like your like character and he's just like in bed like this and like i love it i love it your um your splash screen is so like it's adorable like i just want to get next to your character and like 
cuddle with them and just like just like be the big spoon <laughs> or the little spoon too i guess can we get can we get some uh some, some some answers in the chat what kind of spoon are you in bed what kind of spoon are you in bed <laughs> Are you more of a big spoon, a little spoon, or a verse spoon? Oh good, because I paid for starting in BRB screens. Decipher, they look awesome. Like, <laughs> like your, 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 um, your, your ending, like, drawing is so cute. I, I love it. I love it. Like, even when you're, Decipher, sometimes I just go to your channel. So Decipher, sometimes I just go to your channel when you're not live, and I just stare at <laughs> I just look at it. I'm just like, this is so cute. I love it. <laughs> um, Buff Boy Games, welcome on in. Hope you're having a wonderful. Hope you're having a wonderful night. Um, thank you for giving the shout out to Buff Boy Games. Um, but yeah, Decipher, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what your starting and ending uh, splashes are gonna look like. Thanks for coming in tonight. Um, we got some. We got some comments. Janeezy is a big spoon because he's super tall. Meat Reservoir Spoon. Guava says whatever you like. Ooh, Guava. Guava. I'm looking for both. <laughs> Want to take turns, Guava? Peppermint Cutie says Lonely Spoon. Aw, Peppermint. I'm sorry. Aw, Peppermint. Meat Reservoir says damn. Buff Boy, can you enlighten us? What kind of spoon are you, Buff Boy? Can you enlighten the Italian Gamer Joe chat tonight and give us... Uh, give us the, uh, let us tell, tell us, tell us some of us in the chat tonight what kind of spoon you are. Ooh, Buff Boy Games is a big spoon. Oh my god. <laughs> Let it be heard that you heard it here first in the Italian Gamer Joe community. Buff Boy Games is a big spoon. Now the chat's just gonna go wild. Everyone wants to be Little Spoon by Buff Boy. Like, we all, let, let's face it, we all want to be Little Spoon by Buff Boy. All of us. <laughs> we all want to be grabbed at Buff Boy. It's just big muscles, you know. <laughs> uh, but Buff Boy, how are you doing tonight? How was Cry how was Cry of Fear? I whenever I see you go live, I usually see your um, your notifications and you're like, we have ten awesome like you know spoopy games today. And I I, I know you kind of like run through them. So um, how's the horror game run through going? Is it fun? Are you having a good time with it? Um, Please go give Buff Boy Games a follow. He does a ton of horror games, and I don't know how he does it. He 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 is just he plays these crazy horror games, and he does a really good job at it. So definitely go check him out. And Decipher Pup too. Go check out Decipher. He's a really good community streamer, uh, all about community and just like LGBT safe spaces. Um, I Decipher says I think I'm a little spoon, but it's the fact that someone's deep breathing on me. And bit oh okay okay decipher <laughs> nice Ex oh I could totally see that um, <laughs> Dylan's like where's my cuddles Cry of Fear is so good it's free on Steam and amazing over like ten hours ago classic like Silent Hill oh you're you're enticing me Buff Boy Buff Boy of all the horror games you've played so far Buff Boy of all like encompassing and of all the encompassing horror games you've played. Do you have like any recommendations for us? Like, I, I might have to. You, can you like post something on Twitter or like on Discord or even just tell us here? Do you have any like like a top five or a top three like of all the horror games you play? Like, do you have any recommendations for us? Like, if for for people out there that maybe are looking for like some good horror games, um, I think you should try that, Buff Boy. I think you should you should give us like a list of like your top three or top five. Or maybe you could do like a stream one day where you give us like your top 10 horror games that you recommend to us because you play like tons of horror games and you're becoming like this horror game expert. So we would love to like learn more about like what are your favorites, what are your recommendations. Um, and maybe you can do multiple parts. Like maybe you could be, you could do like Buff Boy's top three favorite jump scare games. Buff Boy's top three favorite psychological games. That way you kind of like give us variety and then you can kind of give us like more content. Um, Cause I would love to know like what your favorites are because you stream so many good games Buff Boy and I would love to like get the opportunity to play some of them as well. Um, I still Buff Boy, I still think about the time that I was on your stream and you were in the motel you were in the motel, Buff Boy, and you opened the closet and the thing popped up and it scared the shit out of me. Like, I'm just watching, I'm watching, like, in the chat and I'm just like, oh man, Buff Boy, don't open it, don't open it. And then you open it, I'm like, 
and it just scared the shit out of me. Like, scared the shit out of me. Um, it was one of the most intense buff boy streams I've ever seen. It, it, it was just, it scared the shit out of me. Um, depend, oh wait, we already read that. Uh, OMG, yes. Are you going to play Martha is Dead mystery game? Decipher Pup, I'm going to write that down because... So, Decipher Pup, here is the next scoop that I got for, for you. I only got five Nancy Drew games left. Martha is... I only got five Nancy Drew games left, and once I finish those five games, I'm going to be branching out into other mystery games, other adventure games. So, if you have recommendations, if you have suggestions, please send them over to me. I'm going to be checking them out. Um, I, uh, I don't have that many Nancy Drew games left, so once I finish all of these... You're going to start seeing more, like, variety adventure content, like, more Sea of Thieves, more adventure games. Like, you're going to see a lot more stuff. So, um, if you're on my Discord community, I also have a game suggestions thread where you can send me Steam links or itch.io links. Uh, the Mansion, I'll write that down as well. Um, so, please, if you have any recommendations, please send them over to me because I would love to hear your recommendations. Um, I, uh, I do have a limited schedule, so I... You know, I want to be able to, like, check out your games. Um, if you decide to, like, you know, recommend me a game or buy me a game or whatever, I will make sure I play it. I know that I have had some, I've had some community members, um, like, gift me games on Steam to play on stream. On stream. And um, I have had, I've had, I have played them. Um, but I do, have to, I do have to finish them. Like, for example, someone gifted me Phantasmagoria 2. And um, I really appreciated that, and I haven't got a, had a chance to finish it yet. So I definitely plan to go back and finish that. Um, so I am really excited uh, to finish a lot of those. Cypher Pup says, oh, Buff Boy says, Martha's is a good one. There's some Morse code stuff in there. Ooh, ooh. Uh, the Mansion. I like Mystery Games too. You'll love The Mansion. It's like Haunted Mansion with puzzles and ghosts. The Mansion sounds good. Okay, I will definitely check it out, Decipher Pup. Um... It sounds pretty good. I'll definitely check it out. Thank you again for the recommendations. Um, do you like games that are like interactive stories where you make decisions? Yes, Buff Boy. Yes, I. Um, I love like the like Telltale games. Um, before the controversy happened with this company, I really did like you know Heavy Rain, Detroit Become Human. Um, I really liked those games. Uh, Beyond Two Souls. There was some controversy that the CEO of that company was like homophobic or something so i kind of like steer away from them but um i love their games i mean i'm gonna be honest their games are fantastic but um i do love like just choice based decision making games like tall like, like like telltale games like holy shit like they invented the this character will remember that you know so like i um i love all kinds of adventure games like that um i love cinematic stuff i love all kinds of stuff like that and um, I do plan to play more games like that. Those are those are those games are like my bread and butter. I love like I love any kind of adventure game, and those are the kinds of games that I'm going to start streaming more of. Um, because for me, that's more of like that's more Italian gamer Joe content that I want to jump into. Um, and you know, Nancy Drew has been a big undertaking. I mean, with thirty with thirty three games, <laughs> it's insane. It's insane with how many how many there are it's absolutely insane um but yeah so i i um there's so many good games um uh but yeah does that answer your question i i love all kinds of games um oh my god thank you so much buff boy <laughs> for the recommendation i really appreciate that that or that's so kind of you thank you um, yeah, I will definitely check that out. Um, I, uh, yeah, thank you. I love full motion video games. Fucking love them. Like, thank you. I, uh, um, I don't know. Buff Boy, have you ever by any chance played any of the Wales Interactive games? Have you played any of them? Um, did you play Late Shift? Did you actually play it? Um, for those of you that are wondering, uh, Buff Boy sent me a game that I'm going to play at some point on stream. It's called Late Shift. Um, highly recommended. I, I've seen trailers for it, and I, um, I never actually, like, started it, but I've played other past Wales Interactive games, and the Wales Interactive games are, like, fucking amazing. Like, they are, they're like, they're like movie, but they're games. Like, they're movies, but they're games. Um, 
thank you so much for yeah thanks buff boy i really really appreciate that Th thank you and can we one more time can we just get another shout out for buff boy games please um no i haven't played it buff boy i haven't but i've seen like the trailer for it and it looked good i just haven't had a chance to play it yet um i just haven't had a chance to touch it yet but i've played i've played other whales interactive games i've played i don't know if you ever heard of the shape-shifting detective but i played that uh, and that was really good. If if you like Whales Interactive games, check out the Shape Shifting Detective. Um, that one has more of like an of like an it's like an open ended world. Like there's like choices you can make. But no, I never played Late Shift. Um, and thank you so much again. Thank you. Um, so let's see. But yeah, I um, I love adventure games. Adventure games are what I you know are what I love to stream. It's they're games that I um, that I like to play because you know it's a genre that's never really um, it's like an under how can I put this uh, an underestimated genre and you know there's so many awesome games out there like you know I love like Pokemon I love Zelda I love Mario Brothers I love I love I want to like you know I do like Elden Ring and I like all these awesome games but. Adventure games just never get enough credit, and that is why I like to stream a lot of adventure games because these are smaller like series like stories, and they're usually a lot of fun. And horror games are also adventure games. I mean, if you really think about it, horror games are just scary. That's the only difference. I mean, um, a lot of the, the games that Buff Boy plays, a lot of them are adventure games. They're just they just have the horror like tag on top of it, the horror like element on top of it. Um, but uh yeah so buff boy thanks again i will definitely check out late shift that looks really really cool thank you thank you Mwah. thank you again i really appreciate that and um so and for those of you that are here we're gonna jump back into some nancy drew captive curse i am really excited to jump back into it and um for those of you who are wondering what's going on here um nancy goes to germany to a german castle to figure out um who could be causing a series of accidents at a German castle. So she, um, she, Marcus, this like millionaire that owns the castle, basically sent her there and she's just trying to interrogate a bunch of people, trying to figure out like what's going on. And that's pretty much the mystery. Um, there's a lot of like accidents that happen and um, a lot of this ties into a centuries old, um, a centuries old tale that every 100 years, um, a monster comes out searching for a victim and then once they find a victim they take the victim and then go back into the forest for another 100 years and um, that's basically the storyline to this Nancy Drew game I've been making a lot of jokes tonight that this is the bachelor and that the monster is looking for like a sexual partner <laughs> welcome to the bachelor tonight we are gonna find out who the monsters next date is gonna go on tonight will it be Nancy will it be Anya <laughs> Will it be Carl? We will find out. Um, but yeah, that's basically what's going on tonight. And uh, hope you enjoy yourself. And for those of you that are here from C-Dubs Raid, um, hope you get to have some fun and step on in and just hang out with us. Um, let's jump back in. So, let's see. Here we go. Hi. I Nancy just screaming. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Okay, so... Um, the fire happened here, and, uh, we were able to curtail the fire that happened. So now what we're gonna do is... <laughs> Carl is a game developer, right? Right. Okay, so, um, let me look at my task list for a second. Haven't done that. Haven't done that. There's a few things we gotta Haven't do still. Done that. Yeah, there's quite a few things we gotta do still. Um, let's talk to Lucas because we haven't had a chance to talk to Lucas yet. Um, we're gonna do that real Hello. quick. Hi, so are you the one who tried to keep me out of the castle? Probably. I've been known to do things like that. I'm Lucas. I'm Nancy Drew. Hello, Nancy Drew. Do you want to play Monster? <laughs> I don't really have time not, for that not right Nancy, now. Nancy just being like, Does fuck no. Does no one have time for fun in this fast-paced modern world? <laughs> That's from that one commercial. Okay, well, if you change your mind and decide you don't want to be boring, then let me know. Prizes might be involved. Did you say prizes? Well, then maybe. Maybe. What can you tell me about Anya? She's the best. 
She's Guava's a most like, fun I had time for you, mile. Lucas. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> she's taught me that all the fun places are in the castle. And she knows a lot of games, and she's good to talk to if you have a problem. I wish she wasn't always so busy. What's she busy doing? I don't know. Probably something with Carl. Why do you say that? They're always fighting. Well, it was like, I also save scummed you to death. So, oh my god. You save scummed Lucas? Why? Why did you save scum Lucas so much? Why did you save scum him so much? Do you visit Anya in the shop much? Oh, the yeah. Cards? Want to hear a secret? If you give Renata food, she falls asleep in like a second. It's really weird. Renate is the old lady, which we haven't talked to yet. She, uh, she's in the basement, and you can, like, talk to her. What do you know about the monster that's been terrorizing the castle? I heard that it's a forest yeti. Hmm, what's that? It's the saddest and most terrible of the monsters. It lives alone in a big cave, usually, and it gets so hungry that he thinks he's going to die. But he doesn't want to eat because he has to eat people, and he doesn't like to kill people. So he tries to eat vegetables, but they make him sick. But one day, he can't wait anymore, and he runs into the town, and he grabs up a whole bunch of people and eats them all, and he goes back to his cave. And he's so sad about all of the people he's killed that you can hear him crying and howling <laughs> for miles. Lucas! Sounds kind of like that. Oh my god, the dialogue in this game is kind of funny. I, I gotta say, the dialogue in this game is kind of funny. <laughs> the monster feels bad after eating the people. Nancy's like, well, how do you know he's eating them? Oh wait, never mind, never mind. You're, you're, you, we, you, this is, we can't talk to you about that yet. <laughs> yes, he's eating them. What do you think of all the tourists who come here? They're so boring. Every group says the same thing, no matter when they come. They all make the same stupid jokes, and I always have to pretend to be amused. Oh my god, that reminds me of like retail when you're scanning something as a cashier and it's not coming up in the system and the customer is like the customer is like oh it's not coming up huh it must be free and you're like <laughs> does anybody else have any examples of that where like you have to pretend to be amused where you have to pretend to be amused because someone because someone tells you something like that <laughs> That's one of them for me. Oh, it must be free. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How's it going, Aqua? Peppermint Cutie. Hilarious. I've never heard that before. Mitra, all the time. Guava, I don't know, but that was cool. Mitra, customers are not very original. I know, exactly. Janie Z's like, I used to work for a company that gave things for free if it didn't ring up. No surprise it went out of business. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> V-Dub says that when I worked in retail for so long, I stopped laughing and just stared into their eyes with a blank stare. Oh my god. I'm just imagining that. It must be for free. Two hours later. <laughs> Katie girl, that was perfectly timed. That was perfectly timed. I love it. <laughs> but delightful. Fake delightful laugh, but delightful laugh. And you've got a coupon for buy a cookie. You get a second half off. Half a cookie? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Not the coupons. Not the coupons. Ugh. There were so many times when I worked retail where people would bring coupons in. And they would demand. They would demand for the coupon to work when the coupon, like, expired. Like... Someone, people would bring in coupons that expire like three months prior or like a year prior. And they they would be like, I want to speak to a manager. And then the manager comes and then I go get the manager and the manager's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, they have a coupon and the manager and then the customer's like, why can't you take this coupon that expired three months ago? And then the manager's like, Ugh, let's, let me see the coupon. It's like $2 off. And the manager's just like, all right, fine. Just, 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 just let's do it. Um, but yeah, oh man, there were so many times that happened where like we'd get a coupon situation like that and it was just a pain. Like I I I like oh, like I think people sometimes forget that retail employees are people too and that we're not like, you know, like we're not subhuman. Like, you know, I mean, I I worked retail in college back when I was in college. And I think people sometimes forget 
that other retail employees, other people are people, you know, like, and you, you don't, you don't get the right to treat people like shit. Um, Aqua says, and now I'm thankful I never work at real work retail again. Oh, the plus side, your death sir got a lot of practice and looks great now. Cody says, why do coupons even expire? The whole concept is a ha- right. Genesis says, OMG, they treat retail workers like servants. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, I want to speak to a manager. It's like, okay, okay. I strongly believe everyone should work in retail for at least one year. V-Dub, I used to say that all the time. I worked at Best Buy for two years, and I worked in the computers department. And this was while I was in college studying computer science. So I would I would wake up, go to school, um, come home, change into my Best Buy uniform, and then drive to work, work my shift, and then drive all the way home and do my computer science homework. And I did that for two years of college. It was you know, it, it opened my eyes up to what retail is like, and it opened my eyes up to like what the world of retail is and it's, and people and customers. And it was, ugh. black Friday. It was the worst. Guava says the only story I have is a guy stealing a chocolate dip in front of me thinking I didn't see it because it was too extra. Oh geez. Guava. I'm sorry. Um, when I worked at Best Buy, there were some scenarios where people would steal things and they would get caught and they would just make a run for it. Like, just imagine someone, like, getting caught for stealing something, and they're just making a run for it. Um, we had this security dude, and um, he uh, he was a big guy, like, big. And uh, he was buff. Like, like buff boy, no shade if you're still here, but, like, he was, like, like big. <laughs> and, like... Um, uh, and he was extremely tall, like buff boy. I don't know how tall you are, but this guy was like, tall and big. So sometimes when people would go and like seal things, like, and they would make a, they would just make a run for it. They would like literally make a run for it. And I remember like him chasing them and then like tackling them over and just being like, Poof! and like, like it was like getting. I mean, it, just, it was like watching a giant, like what Lucas is saying, like a giant forest yeti, just being like. Whoa! And, like, trying to prevent them from leaving until the police got there. Oh, my God. It was insane. It was insane. Um, Aqua says, I've done the whole spinning around when someone asked if they could speak to a manager when I was the manager on shift. <laughs> Cody says, I tried to be as nice as I can to retail peeps. Yeah, it's 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 rough. Uh, when I worked at Best Buy, it was rough. Um, the worst retail story I have. The worst retail story I have. Uh, I've got it. says, my first Black Friday was also the first day working the fitting room, and my manager just assumed that I knew everything about it. Oh, no. Not that. I've got it. How did it go? Can, can you enlighten us? Did it go really bad? <laughs> my worst retail story um, is when I worked Black Friday um, at the online order pickup at Best Buy. And I, um, I would go to the back of the store, pick up the online order, bring it to the front and give it to the customer. But there was this one situation where um, I think it was Disney Pixar's, uh, I think it was Brave or was it Frozen? It was was either Brave or Frozen. I think it might've been Frozen. But anyway, um, there was like this special edition tin that just didn't come in. And this mother got so angry that her like tin, her Frozen special edition tin didn't come in that she um was screaming at like my manager and she was like this is ridiculous this is ludicrous why does my why is my frozen special edition tin not here i paid extra for the shipping you better do this this is ridiculous and just screaming at the top of her lungs and then um she, my manager told me to go get the second best version which is not a tin it's just a special edition and my manager's like, just go, just go get the other one. Get, like, the one that's not special edition. So I grabbed one of those, and, like, we told her, like, we're sorry. Like, we can give you this version for free. And then, you know, when your version comes in, we can just give you this instead. Because, like, I mean, we, we just didn't have it. Like, it was Christmas. Like, you know, it was, there was a lot of delays happening. And, um... Uh, she just screamed, screamed at the top of her lungs, ah, like just, just like, like, like it was like, a, like horrible. I mean, just, ah, like just screaming. Like she wasn't even coherent at that point. Just, <laughs> ah, just, just screaming. And then she turns around and then like, as she's screaming, like she's like, like, like if I'm, 
if I'm here and this is her, she's like, she turns around and starts walking in the opposite direction towards like home theater. And she's just like, ah, and as she's screaming, she finally stops screaming, turns around, walks back to customer service. And she's like, have a merry fucking Christmas. And then she marches her way near the exit, still screaming. And she's like, ah, my manager looks at me and I look at her and she's like, what is she doing? And as she's leaving, there's like these little kiosks that have gift cards. She started pushing them. Like she started pushing them and we were like, what the fuck? So we had to call the police because the police like were, were like the police were there. It was Christmas and they're, they're, they're on, they're on site. And they had basically had to escort her off the premises because she was just causing this massive like ruckus and it was horrible. Um, and then you know what happened? This caused a wave of customers after her to be total dicks. There was this one guy that um, I had to get his debit card that he used for the transaction. And um, he didn't want me to give me his credit card. He was like, I'm not, I'm not giving you my debit card. I'm like, but we need verification of the payment method. And he's like, I'm not giving it to you. And I'm like, I don't know how to do. And then he looks at me and he's like, you want my debit card? You want it? He pulls out his debit card. And then like it's customer service at Best Buy. He, there, the, there's the geek squad room is like behind me. He grabs his debit card from his wallet and he whips it at the geek squad room. And it just goes flying across the room all the way into the geek squad room. And it just flings and then it bounces off the wall of the Geek Squad room and goes somewhere deeper in there. And I literally look at my the customer and I'm just like, did you just fucking whip your credit card at the Geek Squad? Like, did you literally just throw your card? Did you literally just try to assault a Geek Squad member? I, I, I mean, it was insanity. And then he looked at me dead in the face and he's like, go fucking get my credit card. I, I, I swear to God. After that, I was mortified. I I was so close from being like, I'm done. Like, I am done. Like, I will die. I do not deserve to be treated like this. Uh, to be treated like a pile of shit. Like, you know, who are you to whip your credit card, you know, across the room when I'm basically trying to deliver your orders? Oh, my God. It was, so, I, I mean, I kept my mouth shut. I went back to Geek Squad. I grabbed the card. Processed the processed it, gave him what he when he needed. It was bad. I just got it says the key was buried under clothes. Three fourths of the room were locked. There was also a pile of clothes already when I started. It was miserable. The customers were miserable. We eventually found the key. Oh man, I've got it. I'm sorry. Mira says Disney adults are another level. Yeah, oof. People really act like that. Sometimes people don't realize when they're being rude, but she has to know she was acting like a three-year-old. Bye, bye, but sorry. That's an insult to three-year-olds. Cody says, no, I just got it with the emotes. And he says, that's the salt. Cody says, I would have told him to go get it back. <laughs> but Ricky says, go get it yourself, asshole. He was like, I would have just said no. Aqua's like, I can't stand it when people put their money on the counter when my hand uh, was open in reach. Peppermint says, I would not get that. I would get my manager. Cody says, sometimes people, sometimes someone asked me if I was, oh, because I, because I didn't laugh at his, oh, I'm sorry, Cody. That's horrible. I am sorry. I do have one more story to tell. Uh, it was also Christmas. I got sent back to my computer department and, um, this father and son came in and, um, so like, you know, on Christmas Eve, you know, like, it, Christmas Eve is not a good time to go like last minute shopping, especially for like tablets because everything is sold out. I'm just going to say it like if you're going to do Christmas shopping for electronics, do it earlier because if you do it on Christmas Eve or a few days before Christmas, you're not going to find what you're looking for. You're not. You're not like don't go shopping for iPads um, the day of because you're going to be stuck with the really high storage um, and the only chance choices you have at that point are those tablets. So if you are going to go shopping for electronics, do it sooner than later, because otherwise you're going to be stuck with something you don't want. Um, <clears throat> so what ended up happening was this customer came in. It was his father and his son. The son was like maybe like kindergarten, first grade. <clears throat> and the guy, he points at this Android tablet and he's like, I can you give, give me this tablet? I want this tablet. It was like, a, I don't even know. It was like a Toshiba tablet. 
maybe like like you know South Park when when uh, Cartman Cartman's mom wants to get him the Toshiba tablet and he's like I want the iPad. Well, okay, it, it was basically something like that. It was like a South Park like Toshiba tablet, and the father's like I want this one, and it was like this special edition like blue red gray like Toshiba tablet. It was something like that. I don't. It's, it's been it's been so long. And uh, I check in my like on my stock list to see if we have it, and we only have like one left. And usually, when there's one left, that only mean that usually means that there's either um, like it's either um, it could be the floor model, it could be you know the one, it could like one left is usually not a good indicator. And um, I couldn't find it anywhere. I literally could not find it anywhere. So I go back to the customer and I tell him I cannot find this tablet. And he looks at me and he's like, yeah, it could also be pre-ordered. It could also be pre-ordered. Guava. It could also be pre-ordered that too. <clears throat> so the father looks at me and he sighs and he's like, oh, fine. Then give me this one instead. The one he points at is like, it's like a, it's like a seven inch Samsung tablet. And, um, it's, uh, so I'm like, okay. So I look, I do the check of the stock for it. None in stock. So I tell the, I tell the customer, we, we don't have any more of this one. It was on sale, like, you know, sale, sale tablets go quick. So then he gets, starts to get, he starts to get angry, like visibly angry in the face. And he looks around, he's like, all right, this one. So I look up in stock for it, just as usual, just one left. So I look around for it. I just can't find it. Like, that's the problem when it comes to like tablets like this. You just like, like it's such a mess. You can't find it. So, um, I tell the customer, like, I'm sorry, I just can't find it. It could be a pre-order. And that's usually what ends up happening. Like, it could be an online order. Like, like what I was saying, it could be a pre-order. Like, so it could potentially just be like someone ordered it online. And it's, it, 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 it's probably like someone reserved it. And that's probably what happened. Someone probably reserved it. But like when you're checking a stock for something, it shows up that there's a one at the store, but it doesn't specifically say what it is. So I told the customer, like, that's probably what it is. And he just got so flustered that he picked up his child. He picked up his child and he held him over my face like this. And he's like, you see this child, you see him. And then the, 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 the kid starts like crying and he's like, you ruined his Christmas. You ruined him. You ruined this Christmas. And he's like picking him up and he turns around while holding him and he's like ruined his christmas and then he's running he's walking really out of the store while holding his kid like that ruined his christmas and then he puts him down and then he just grabs his hand and just starts running out of the store and he was like you ruined his christmas and i'm and i'm just staring like i'm just staring at the at him like Like, what the fuck is going on right i'm like you can't i mean you can't make this up you cannot make this up i mean i was just i was so like mortified i i mean i wanted to go to the bathroom and start crying like l no joke i i literally wanted to go to the bathroom and start crying my manager was next to me when it happened and my manager looked at me and my manager's like don't worry about it he that customer probably had a bad childhood. Like he probably, you know, um, just, just having a bad day. Like, don't take it personally. Like Joe, you do an amazing job. You, you go the extra mile to help people. Don't take it personally, but like, no joke. I stepped off the sales floor and I went to the bathroom and I just kind of like, I had like a, like a low key panic attack. Like I literally had to do like deep breaths. Like, <sighs> like, it was bad. It was really bad. And I, no joke, had to, like, I mean, it's another level when a, when a father picks up his child and puts the child in your face and is like, you ruined his Christmas. And then he, like, screams it, like, screams it at the top of his lungs and then puts him down and then, like, grabs his hand and just runs out of the store. Like, it's 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 messed up. And it's like, really? No, I did not ruin your son's Christmas. And if you're going to be, like, petty and immature like this, like, I worked, I mean, like, we work our asses off trying to find the products. It's not us, you know, like, it's ridiculous. And I'm, you know, like, I'm nothing but friendly. Like, people are ridiculous. That's all I have to say, you know, like... I've worked, I worked retail for two years and it changed me. It changed me. Like I have a new respect for people working retail because 
you know, it's 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 hard. It's really hard, and it's hard to maintain like that smile, that customer service smile, or that customer service attitude. It's it's so hard. So I mean, for those of you in the chat that work retail, like my heart goes out to you, and um, you know, I I have to give you credit for doing it because like. I, I get it. I get why it's so stressful. And if you work, if you, I, I mean, I only did two years of work of retail, but like, and then after that, I graduated college and got a job, you know, but, um, I'm sorry. You know, if you were, if, if you go through this still, I'm sorry. Um, Janie says, I'd be scared. I'd be scared if I was that kid. Um, Aqua says, sounds like something that would happen in Detroit. Janie says, I'm sorry that that happened to you. Uh, emotional it really is yeah that really sucks when it happens and it's just wild for some it is it's so wild and it's like like people are just assholes people are total assholes when it comes to retail and like it was the holidays and i mean i'm not i don't have any i mean i don't care if it's the holidays or not like you don't deserve to go up to a retail employee and like just scream at them like that if they were doing nothing wrong like i was being nothing but friendly um, you know, I, I mean, I jokingly give attitude like in the Nancy Drew games, like to be funny, but I don't do, I mean, I would never do that. Like, in a, you know, in a professional setting like that. And like, you know, I, especially cause like, you know, I'm all, I love to help people. I love to be friendly. I love to get the opportunity to make people happy. I'm a very much like, um, you know, like I'm more introverted and I'm more like, a like, I don't want to say a people pleaser, but like, I, I try to just be, I, I want to make sure I'm helping people and to have that customer just wave his kid at me like that. Like it just, it's something that just got burned into my brain at the time. And I'm just like, this is ridiculous. So like I said, if you work retail or if you ever worked retail in the chat, my heart goes out to you and, uh, just hang in there and, uh, just remember, don't take it personal. Uh, don't take it personal and just, you know, for the short experience you have with these people, you know, just try to leave them in a better place than you found them. And, uh, you know, just, yeah, just don't take it personal. I mean, we don't really know what people are going through and just, you know, and, uh, you know, tr try to, try to just be a better person yourself and that's all you can really do. And I mean, um, I mean, I, I really don't know how else to like really, uh, to really put it, it's, it's just try not to take it personally and, you know, um, and don't be afraid to stick up for yourself. If you genuinely feel like you're, uh, like something's wrong. Um, I mean, I've seen horror stories. Like I saw this one video of, um, of, uh, these two women and they were eating at like a McDonald's and they told the Mexican manager of the store that he should go back to his country and he he was like he told their he told them that he was like born here but it just like like people are ridiculous people are absolutely ridiculous and you know it's it just it's so sad it's so sad to see stuff like that like you know we're all immigrants <laughs> my we're i'm i'm like my families are my i was born here in the united states but i mean i was born you know but in chicago but like you know, my family are immigrants, you know, we're all immigrants. We all came from somewhere else. And it just makes me angry when people are like, go back to your country. It's like, really? Um, it's like, uh, we're, I mean, we were all immigrants at some point. And it's, it's just, it's mind boggling to me. It's mind boggling. Um, the level of like immaturity people have for that or the pettiness of it. Um, it's just, it's, it's jarring. Um, yeah, it's just, it's jarring and it's, it's sad. And you know what? Like my grandparents, but which rest in peace, you know, they, they, uh, my grandparents immigrated here from Italy and, uh, they got to go through a lot of that same racism. Like people hated Italians back then. You know, my, my grandparents worked in factories, um, and like everyone hated Italians. Like you know, a lot of white people just like a lot of Americans, like just hated Italians, hated, uh, you know, like treated them like the scum of the earth and told my grandparents to go back to Italy. And it's like, really? God, like, I mean, social media and technology wasn't a thing back then. And there wasn't a lot of exposure back then. But like, you know, it's just sad. It's just really, really sad that like to, to, to hear that, that to hear that my grandparents got, had, to, had to go through that. And like, it's just it really makes me sad that they had to go through all that on this all that anxiety and all that like just horrible experiences um all that unnecessary 
tension and anxiety that they go through for and um you know it's like it's like we're all immigrants we all come you know to you know and not, i know that not all of you are from the united states um i know some of you are from like australia and canada and you know um and i'm sure like i mean like, i guess we can like you know we you know we i mean here if i can i'm speaking for united states people like you know, we're all immigrants you know and you know we just we're all just trying to make you know our world's a better place anyway anyway <laughs> Janie says I protect my employees just kick them oh just kick them out if there are people like that right it's so wild to see what people considered white back then yeah people Mitra like my grandparents like oh they used to tell stories about how they were just like it's bad they were I mean it was bad my grandparents could tell told so many stories about just the horrible things they had to go through. Um, go back to Italy was one of them. Um, on another note, I'm glad Lucas blinks because his blinks are otherwise is pretty unnerving. Oh, it really is. And that's how the old Nancy Drew games are. Peppermint Cutie says, this one time I snapped at a customer. It was a mask thing. He was wearing that mask on his chin and kept asking when the mask mandate would end. And I kept telling him I didn't know. It's not part of my job. But he still kept pushing. And then he pulled a, you work here. You must have some idea. He wore me down and he's like, I'm tired of all this. So finally, I'm like, well, I'm tired of it too. But I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Part one of two. Um, then he has the balls to be like, why are you snapping at me? I was just asking a question and I told him I answered your question several times. Hi, player me, Callis. Welcome in. Um, I hope you're having a good night. Michaelis, you came in at a really interesting time. Uh, peppermint cutie. I'm really sorry you went through that. And you know what? Like you were just, you know what? Like peppermint cutie. I'm sorry you went through all that. And, uh, you know what? Like, you just did what you were just doing what you could. And, um, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. Uh, Peppermint cutie with just being assertive and just being like, you know, just telling the customer kindly, like, I don't have the answer to your question. Um, I, um, I could check with the manager, but I honestly don't know the answer to your question. Um, uh, you know, if you do need additional resources or if you want to talk to someone else, I can find you someone higher up. But honestly, I just don't know. I just don't have the answer you're really looking for. And, uh, you know, and you can be like, if you have any other questions that you want to ask, I'm here for it. But I really just I do not have the answer to your question. Um, <laughs> Blair Michaelis is like, oh, my favorite. Blair Michaelis, how are you doing tonight? Hope you're having a wonderful evening. For those of you that are here, please go consider giving Player Michaelis a follow. He plays a lot of horror games as well, uh, like Resident Evil. Um, winding down for the evening. Player Michaelis is also like on this journey of fitness, and it's so cool seeing a lot of his like uh, working out stories and stuff like that um, on his like social media and on his streams. And it's very motivating. So if you're looking for someone to to like, look, if you're looking for a motivational like streamer that um that that shares their like you know their fitness goals and everything it's really cool checking out player Michaelis because um he does talk a lot about his like story of how he started from like um you know wh where he started and where he's at now and like how he kind of worked like to get to that point um so definitely go check out player Michaelis. um the says my manager was nearby when it happened and after it was over she basically said the same thing she was really cool about it though my managers that's great Peppermint McCutie. i'm glad that you went that you got over it but me did you ever work retail i worked at best buy for two years and um overall it was a great experience overall it was a great experience the only bad experiences i ever had at best buy were holidays and black friday those were the only bad experiences that I ever had at Best Buy. And the reason is obvious. It's it's horrible, horrible crowds that were just rude and just they come out of the woodworks. And, you know, it's people that are last minute shopping that just get rude and angry and mean. And, you know, when like, you know, pair that up with me, someone with anxiety, um, you know, it's just it's rough. It's rough, especially like having to talk to people and be like, sorry, we don't have this. Why don't you have this? I want it now. And it's like, <laughs> I can't do anything. Um, Perby Callis says no one literally would know in the store if the mask thing would go away. That comes from corporate and even they would be run running it back and forth on the idea. Perby Callis says I did retail and food and combined total five years. Oh, my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, Permian Callus. Holy shit. Oh man. I I have to give you a lot of credit, Mike, for that. That's holy shit. I I I'm sorry you had to go through five years of of that. And, and and there's a lot of people in the chat tonight that are that are also like working retail and I have to give my heart goes out to you as well. Like if you if you genuinely like retail and genuinely like the experience, more power to you. Like seriously, more power to you. Um but like yeah, it is it is tough. It is it is a tough it's it's tough and um working with working in customer service is not easy. It's not easy. Pepper Q says it was literally a city mandate. We had nothing to do with it. Oh yeah. <sighs> Pepper Q what I would do if I were you in those situations, if it's like a customer and you're not a manager, like I would just like if I were you, this is what I something I would do. I would just be like um, if you don't know the answer to a question or something, just, just pass it over to a manager and just have them like deal with the customer. Cause, um, a manager will have more like, you know, more control over the situation. Um, you know, and if you are the manager, then <laughs> just stick to your store policy and, you know, like just make sure you're doing the right thing, I guess. Um, but Mikhail says, I have happily told someone no, no many, so many times in my work operations Granted, pick your battles. Yeah, exactly. Pick your battles. Yeah. Um, but Perry McCallus, thanks for coming in to visit, and I hope you're having a wonderful night. And uh, thanks for giving Perry McCallus a shout out. Guava says, like the game, say no more. Good words to live by. <laughs> right, right. You know, this is the second time that I've streamed Nancy Drew Captive Curse, and this is the second time I've played this game where I just, the entire stream just completely derails itself, and I'm literally just talking about other things. <laughs> This is this is what this is what's what's happening with Nancy Drew Captive Curse. I'm I'm literally derailing the stream to talk about other things. And I like it, it's fun, but it's just funny. Uh Pyramid McCallis says if someone is also giving giving uh a tone, I will give them a warning. I will refuse to assist in any way if you're being aggressive. It's not a lot I'm asking for in that scenario. It's a bare minimum. Which if you tell them that it's if it, which, if you tell them that, it's fun to see how these people get worked up. Retail and food has very much shown me, as we used to say, have a lot to grow. Uh, we have a lot of grown children within it. We do, we do, Claire McCallis. and um, I, uh, I have to give you a lot of credit for having the, for having the balls to, to say something like that. Um, I'm kind of the opposite, and uh, when I was, I mean, but you know what though? Like this was also Joe from like. 10 from like you know 10 back in like 10 like 10 years ago this was like 20 year old joe i was like you know so like so anxious so quiet and like whenever a customer would get worked up or like the minorly inconvenienced i would just like freak out and i'd be like oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god and i love how you're the exact opposite you're like excuse me you are not going to give me attitude and let me tell us before you got here i was basically telling the chat it's like I hate that people see retail employees as like subhuman, like someone in the chat mentioned servants and that is a very good way to look at it. It's like, you know, if you work a job as a retail employee, you deserve respect too. I mean, you know, you, if you do, I mean, you're, you're providing a service to a customer, but that doesn't mean that you deserve to be treated like as a subhuman being. Like that's not you're like, you know, it's, it, that's not that's not right and um there were so many times that i worked retail that i just had to oh my god welcome on in day nine tv and uh holy shit thank you so much for the raid <laughs> i'm gonna close the game for a second because like we're not even playing right now like we're legit not even playing so i'm gonna jump over to chatting for a minute <laughs> welcome on in raiders um i'm italian gamer joe and i am an adventure game streamer here on twitch um and uh i <laughs> oh my god thank you so much day nine tv for the follow um it's really nice to meet you and uh yeah welcome on in i hope you're all having a wonderful evening day nine tv says uh, i saw you playing nancy drew so i was like yeah oh my god that's so funny um, big Nancy Drew game fan here. I've played all 33 Nancy Drew games and I'm actually streaming them. Uh, I've been streaming them over the last year. 
and uh, it's been a lot of fun so far. I'm big Nancy Drew game super fan here. I've had so much fun playing them, and I love the Nancy Drew games. They are just so much fun to play. So, yes, player me callous. There's 33 Nancy Drew games. Um, it's it's really nice to meet you, uh, Day Nine TV, and thank you so much for sharing your community with me. I I'm it's it's an honor. Thank you, Harmonic One. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Um, and yeah, uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Like I said, I'm an adventure game streamer here on Twitch. Um, I name Haver Cam Cam. Thank you so much for the follows. Welcome to the Italian Gamer Joe community. And Cam Cam, thank you so much for the subscription. Uh, so for those of you that are here, I'm not just an adventure game variety game streamer, but um, Lady Red Fox, thank you for the follow. Um, I'm also an indie game developer making my own game. It's called Super Spy Academy and it's inspired by the Nancy Drew games. So if you are a Nancy Drew game fan uh, and you like Nancy Drew games, then you would love my game. It's called Super Spy Academy. It's going to be on Steam at HIO. I haven't released the game page yet for Steam because I'm still finishing up some stuff with it. But I am making... I have to fix my alert box. It's still the Christmas themed. But anyway, anyway, I am an indie game developer as well. And I'm really excited to be releasing my uh, my indie game. And like I said, if you are a fan of Nancy Drew games, then you're going to love Super Spy Academy. Um, I, uh, I'm a big, like, just a big goofball. Um, if this is, this is an LGBT space, I am a bisexual person. I'm a gay person. So, you know, if you are looking for a place... Uh, a safe space or if you're looking for a place uh, to relieve some anxiety then you come to the right place um, we have a lot of fun here I'm a big goofball I make a lot of jokes bismuth thanks you thank you thank you so much for the follow welcome to the Italian gamer Joe community I'm gonna really quickly uh, pull up my Italian gamer Joe uh, you channel trailer that way some of you that are like probably here thinking to yourself who is this Italian gamer Joe and um, what 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 kind of content does he have to offer? So um, I'm going to give you all a little bit of, t of a taste of what the Talon Gamer Joe channel has to offer. And I'm going to go ahead and serve that for you for a moment. That way you can get the opportunity to maybe see more of what I have to offer and more of an opportunity to just see like what games I play besides Nancy Drew. I'm a big Nancy Drew game fan though. I've played all 33 games. Love the games. They're so much fun. Um, another thing too is um, uh, the game that I'm making, Super Spy Academy. Um... If you are an Nancy Drew game fan, another reason why to check out my content and my channel, um, I'm also working with Lanny Manella. So if you're an Nancy Drew game fan, um, Lanny is actually going to voice one of the main characters in my game. So if you miss the Nancy Drew games and you're looking for Nancy Drew game content um, that's something similar and you kind of miss it, then definitely check out um, my game and definitely give Lanny's IMDB page a support as well. Um, Lanny is doing this... Um, for my Lenny's voicing a character in my game and um please dro drop her some support by checking out her imdb page um she's an amazing voice actress she's voiced hundreds of nancy true games or um hundreds of not nancy true games hundreds of games um and definitely go check her out she's amazing uh, she's an amazing person amazing voice actress and um we are really happy to support lanny and um we are so excited i'm so excited to have her in my game as well um, so definitely go check her content out and um, like I said, I'm, I'm, I cannot wait to release my game and to get the opportunity to, um, to be able to have her in the game and uh, have her voice one of the faculty members. So excited for that. Super, super excited. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch over to my, PC, to my um, PC so I can go ahead and just show off a trailer of my channel so feel free to just sit on back and check out my channel trailer I'll be back in a second and uh yeah let's go ahead and just do that real fast I'm Italian Gamer Joe your new favorite Italian streamer come on in and hang out with us as we play all kinds of cool adventure games and much much more experience all the wins Oh my god, where are you? Where are you? I, where are you? Fucking Rick and Morty. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> I got a victory royale! Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Oh my god! I got it! And the fails. Oh my god. Oh my god.
Oh, we got it working. Yes, yes. Right, that undone tie. Like, all I wanted to was unbutton his shirt and see his body. And you can see this. I mean, look, you can even see, like, his skin. Oh, my God, it's so hot. Like, look at that. Look at that skin he's showing. And the black eye just makes him look so, like, it's just it's perfect wow it's got depth and perfectly balanced acidity i love it to look something like this <laughs> just watch oh my god i was joking but she literally brought the annabelle doll with her i want to be like Psst, body, body. can we just can we just refuse service to this client that doll looks scary as fuck i've seen the conjuring i've seen the conjuring body we can't do this! <laughs> that doll is gonna fucking follow us! <laughs> and lots of Italian hands. Featuring splash screens. Emotes. And all kinds of viewer engagement every single month. Benvenuto, ciao, and welcome to the Italian Gamer Joe channel. Welcome back, everybody, to uh, to the channel. Um, hopefully, that gave you all maybe some more um, context of what I have to offer here at the Italian Gamer Joe channel. Um, once again, thank you so much for the raid, uh, and thank you for all the follows, everybody that came in from that raid. Uh, Day Nine TV, thank you so much for you know sharing your community with me. It's an honor. And I'm so excited to jump into Nancy Drew uh, with your community as well, and to just have some fun and hang out. And um, uh, what were you last playing, Day9 TV? I didn't get a chance to see. What were you playing tonight? Uh, you were playing Normality. Ooh, interesting. I'll have to. I'm gonna drop you a follow, and I'm gonna check that out. That sounds very interesting. Um, if you're still here, thank you so much again. And um, I haven't. I've never heard of Normal Normality before. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and check that out. I'm gonna look that up. Um, I'm always looking for. Um, I'm always looking for new adventure games to play. I love adventure games. Day nine, day 9 has a show called Mostly Walking where they play old adventure games. Bone Nut, thank you so much for helping with that. Kim Kim is such a terrible game, fun to watch. Uh, it's a 90s fever dream. Oh, okay, okay. So for those of you that are here, I just want to start out by saying that I grew up playing t like Monkey Island. I grew up playing like a lot of point and click adventure games. And I love adventure games. Adventure games for me are... Um, just a blast to play through. I, it's not just Nancy Drew. I really want to go back and play like Monkey Island, some full motion video games. Um, for Halloween, I played Phantasmagoria. Um, what else? There's just so many awesome adventure games out there. And I really love the opportunity to be in this like community of adventure gamers. And uh, the Nancy Drew community is ginormous. There's so many Nancy Drew streamers out there. There's so many Nancy Drew game fans and friends. So it's been nice getting the opportunity to get to know Nancy Drew community members. And once I finish the rest of the Nancy Drew series, I'm going to be broadening my horizons and playing all kinds of new adventure games. So if you have any suggestions, if you have any um, games that you think I should play, then feel free to recommend them to me. Feel free to join my Discord as well. The Discord community is growing, and we have this giant community. We have this really cool community so far. I have self-promotion, so if you're a streamer yourself and you want to promote your stream on my Discord channel, feel free to do so. We also have giveaways. Um, we have clubs. We have all kinds of content there on the Discord. Um, I also release lots of game development information on there too. So um, if you ever want to see more updates about Super Spy Academy, um, like on the spot, feel free to do so. Um, Swifty is raiding. Oh my gosh. Swifty, thank you so much for the raid. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. Party for eight. Party for eight. Let me go ahead and check my my restaurant my restaurant layout. It looks like we have a full table ready. I'm gonna go ahead and seat you at the Casa di Italian Gamer Joe. What can I get you for tonight? Would you like some aqua? Would you like some breadsticks or salad? <laughs> we got it all. 
Uh, Slifty, welcome on in. Hope you're having a wonderful night. And uh, thank you so much for the raid. That is so kind of you. And um, thanks, for, thank you so much. For those of you who are here, please consider go, going to check out Swifty. Um, super awesome uh, gay dude. And he just has an awesome community he's building. Plays a lot of like open world games. And um, he's, yeah, super, super, super nice guy. Very active um, on Discord. And uh, he's growing his community. Thank you so much, Swifty. That's really, really kind of you. I appreciate the raid. Mwah. Hope you're having a wonderful night. Lemoncello, please. I will get that Lemoncello for you. I will get that Lemoncello for you. Um, but once again, uh, Day9 TV, thank you so much for the raid. So kind of you. And uh, thank you for sharing, once again, sharing your community with me. And for those of you that are here, let's jump into some Nancy Drew. And for those of you that are here, uh, if you also want to recommend some adventure games to me, I will. I would love to add them to the roster. There's so many cool adventure games out there, uh, both old and new. And I can't wait to get the opportunity to continue playing all kinds of fun adventure games and expanding my horizons even more. Um, Sim and Max franchise seems like a home run. You know, it's so funny. There's this game developer that I know that loved the, the Sam and Max series, and he's actually making a game uh, that's heavily inspired by Sam and Max, and it's called Striped Swipers. Um, he's currently on hiatus with it, but he is, because he's trying to figure out some stuff, but um, he's a huge, like, uh, he's a huge Sam and Max fan. Um, yeah, I, I definitely plan to go check out Sam and Max at some point. Uh, he's been recommending it to me like crazy, so I'm definitely going to do it. I, I think it looks like a, like a fantastic series of games. Um, and it's so cool getting the chance to get to know some Sam and Max fans out there too. Um, I, I've, as far as like other adventure games, I've pl on stream, I've played Life is Strange. Uh, I've played the third game. I'm going to go back and play the second and first, the remasters. Um, I've played a variety. I've, I've played so much variety. Um, I also play a lot of Sea of Thieves, so if you like pirate swashbuckling adventure games, uh, you might if you like Sea of Thieves, Rare does a really good job at adventure games like Sea of Thieves. So if you do enjoy like you know puzzles and stuff, Sea of Thieves is fantastic. Um, Cam Cam says I need to finish Life is Strange. I liked it, but every time I started it, um, <laughs> it's also very very intense. Um, why didn't the blurb work? Oh, that's so weird. Um, sorry, about cookies and monk and mookies. Uh, I, well, I'm, I'm, guava, can you redeem? Can you um refund those points if you can? I'm sorry about that. Um, life is strange is very intense, very very intense. I'm gonna go back into Nancy Drew Captive Curse so that you can. Hi, I'm Nancy. Not Nancy Drew screaming. Hi, I'm Nancy so Drew. Boring. Every group says the same thing, no matter when they come. They all make the same stupid jokes, and I always have to <laughs> pretend to be amused. Oh, yeah. So before you all raided me, I was talking about retail and how, um, you know, like, you ever work a job at retail and you hear the customer be like, oh, it's not scanning. It must be for free. And you're like, yes, it's for free. Like, like that's kind of like where we were at here with that's pretty much where we were at with 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 lucas telling us that because i used to work at best buy and um there were so many times where a customer would be like "Ooh, it's not scanning it must be for free and i'm just like no <laughs> i'm done <laughs> intense says that doesn't happen in england well thank the lord because if you i'm sure if you heard that like 80 times working in retail you'd probably be like <laughs> I've seen a funny TikTok about that. Yeah, it's, it's, ugh. I don't want to, do any of you work retail and do any of you have any funny retail stories? Because that's pretty much what we were talking about before the raid. Like we were all just talking about, we were all just talking about like retail horror stories and how when I worked at Best Buy, um, I had, there was a customer that came in and uh, we didn't have a tablet that the customer wanted and he picked up his kid and he's like, you ruined this kid, my child's Christmas. And I'm just staring in awe, like, 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 what do I do? And the customer like puts down his kid, grabs his hand and just runs out of the store. And I'm just like, <laughs> what just happened? Like, like what the hell just happened? <laughs> um, 
Intense says I die inside just a little more each time. Kim Kim says I worked a little Caesars in the sky Sunday night. Kept joking that he was like stealing the napkin dispenser like it was some funny joke. But like I don't have the energy to stop him or pretend he's funny. Oh man, Kim Kim, I'm sorry. What was like? I bet Marcus never worked retail. Probably not, Guava. Probably not. Ever been? I asked. I asked this, but then we got a raid. But have you played one shot? No, I never played one shot, Peppermint Cutie. I'm going to write it down now. One shot. Thank you. Guava says, and that kid was Lucas. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, so um, I worked retail for two years, and then I graduated from college, and then got a job as a developer. But um, yeah, so I, uh, I, my retail years were interesting. I have a lot of interesting stories. Um, and, uh, it's one of those situations where like, it's like, it's like, it's like a PTSD and, um, I try not to remember my, my retail years, but, um, if you do work retail, I have to give you credit. I have to, my heart goes out to you. <laughs> like if you enjoy it, more power to you. But like as someone that suffers from anxiety, like, oh my God, it was the worst. What do you think of Marcus? Who? He's the man who owns the castle. Oh, okay. I don't know him. I think I heard my dad talk about him a few times. I don't think he likes him all that much. Wait a minute. I thought that Lucas's father was Marcus. Is he pretending not to... Why are you always pranking Carl? Weird. I tried with everyone else, but they're not good at noticing. Carl is, though. He notices everything and gets all crazy and red when you mess with him. Have you seen all of the cool stuff he has in his office? When I get to use it, I'm going to build a small version of the castle with all the secret passages. Secret passages? I don't know what you're talking about. Where are the secret passages? I think it is pitch shifted. Where do they go? I can't tell you. They're secrets. Plus, there are a few places here that I'm the only one who knows where they go. Lucas's father is the head of security. Oh. I think it might be pitch shifted, uh, General. It, it sounds like it. It kind of does sound like it, doesn't it? Have you seen the monster? I don't know. How can you not know? I saw something. I don't know what it was. Where? Down in the passageways. Really, Kenny awful. Girl? I didn't know that. <laughs> like how we can call out Lucas and be like, you're making this up. <laughs> I, I, that'd be so funny, though, if we could tell him that and he's like, let me show you. Just save, some, save Nancy some time. I think you're making this up. Why did you ask me if you didn't want to listen? <gasps> hey Nancy. Oh, I love how when you I love how like when you play a Nancy Drew game and a character gets mad at you, they'll like go away. They'll tell you go away and then 2 seconds later you talk to them again. They're like, "Hi, how are you?" Like they go from mad to like happy again. Uh Cookie says, "Okay, but if retail is that bad, imagine what food service is like. An angry customer is already bad enough, but once you get the food into the equation, it gets scary." <gasps> oh man. Oh no. I'm sorry, cookies. That sounds that sounds horrible. I uh I oh man. Did you work did you work in the food industry? That sounds I, my heart goes out to you for that too. Let's I don't even I mean <laughs> Oh no. Lady says they do a great job making this child irritating. He kind of gives me like Kevin from Home Alone vibes. I think you're the one behind the monster sightings. My lawyer has advised me not to answer that question. <laughs> Nancy's like, you're what? You're what? You're what? Isn't that what everyone says tiger, on all of those right. TV shows? My lawyer. I need a lawyer. I ain't talking without my lawyer. That's TV, not real life. You're not answering my question. And I ain't gonna do it, see? Not till you get me a real class A briefcase jockey. That sounded good, right? Bonut, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Thank you. And welcome, everybody, to the Italian Gamer Joe community. Mwah. Thank you. Uh, Cookies says, I haven't worked in the food industry yet, but from what my friends told me, it sounds horrifying. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> maybe, just, maybe just stay far away, then. I once went into a shop, and the guy walked past me and picked up my metal basket full of chocolate sweets and walked... Oh, no. Intense. That sounds horrible. And, you know, when it comes to situations like that, I usually just kind of, like... If, I don't know. Like, there's kind of like a scenario, like a Schrodinger's cat scenario, where it's like, is that customer dangerous? Like, could that customer have a weapon or something? Like, I would just like, I'd be so nervous. Like, I'd probably tell like a manager or something, but then I'd probably be like, 
we should be careful because what if this person like dangerous like i don't know like you tell them to stop and they probably like turn around they have like i don't know like you know like in legend of zelda when link has like those like those nuts and and he just like throws on the floor it like causes the room to just flash like i'm just imagining someone like turning around and just being like and then like a smoke bomb like just happens and there's just smoke everywhere and then you're, you just go into a battle I don't know what I'm talking. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Um, I applaud anyone who has to deal with angry customers and you can keep their composure. I know, right? I mean, literally after that customer that shook his kid in my face, like did that to me, I literally went to the bathroom and like had to, I had a panic attack. I had, I, I literally cried. I, I, I needed like a good, like few minutes. Peppermint says we have a customer who comes in occasionally who has a compulsive buying issue. It comes in with his enabling family. Long many stories short, trying to rooming out and clean up the store after is a nightmare. Oh no. Compulsive buying issue. Oh my gosh. How much is he buying, Peppermint Cutie? Is he just emptying the store? That's crazy. You know what, Peppermint Cutie? <clears throat> it's so funny you say that because um when I used to work at Best Buy, there were customers that would come in like once in a while. And this happened to me once I walked in and there was a customer that looked at a laptop and I'm like, hi, how are you? And he's like, do you have this laptop? And I'm like, I can check. And then I look, look at the stock and I'm like, I do have it in stock. And he's like, how many do you have? And I'm like, we have 14. And he's like, get me all 14. And I'm like, <clears throat> let me get this straight. You want four, all 14 of these laptops? And he's like, yes. And, and then he's like, do these laptops have Office installed? And I'm like, no. And he's like, then get me 14 copies of Microsoft Office. And I'm like, do you need a mouse? And he's like, give me 14 mice. And I'm like, keyboards? Give me 14 keyboards. And I'm like, <laughs> headphones? Give me 14 headphones. Mouse pads? Give me 14 mouse pads. And I'm just like, <laughs> I feel, I, I, at that point, I'm just I'm feeling bad. I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> do you need anything else? And he's like, what else do you think? And I'm like, uh, <laughs> router, <laughs> give me 14 routers, <laughs> USB flash drives, give me 14 USB flash drives. And I'm just like, like, <laughs> and then like, you know, he would, he would get like 14 carts or something. And then he'd like, I have to ring this all out. And I mean, he'd like clear out the department and then like, when I'm done with the transaction, the managers would be like, what the hell just happened? And I'm like, I have no idea. <laughs> and the customer would like need help, like bringing all this to his truck. I was like, what the hell's going on here? It was the weirdest thing ever. Like that happened, like that happened maybe like twice in the entirety of when I worked at Best Buy. Like there, you'd have these customers that come in and they would just like buy like, like just everything. No, he wasn't a regular. No, he wasn't. Um, so, let's see. Intense says, the odd thing was the shop was a pound shop similar to a dollar store. Like, always several thousand dollars worth of stuff. Was the dude making a startup? Probably. Did he actually buy, buy it, though? Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Intense. That happens, too, where customers will, like, buy a bunch of stuff. And then, like, two days later, two days later, like, um, they'd come back and return all of it. And, um, I mean, there's, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, you know, if you don't, if you don't like the product or if you didn't open it, like, by all means, return it. Um, but, like, I remember, I remember, though, like, people being so excited. And then, like, two days later, they're like, nope, nope, don't want it. <laughs> um, but those customers, the two customers that I'm talking about, like, they kept it, like, I don't know. This happened so long ago. This happened like almost a decade ago. And um, it, I remember like it, it baffling me. I'm like, this is a lot of stuff. Like who the hell buys all this stuff? Like who in their right mind is going to buy all this shit? Like Best Buy even, that's another thing too. Like Best Buy has a business sector where if you're buying things in bulk, you're supposed to contact the Best Buy business like phone number and then they hook you up with like bulk stuff. You're not supposed to go to Best Buy and just like just buy like, you know, 20 things. I mean, you can, but like usually they have like a business like like a business section. Um 
<laughs> they had big plans. I'm just imagining him, like, Guavo, like, going home and, like, opening all 14 laptops and, like, setting up his office where he just has, like, laptop, 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 laptop. Guava, maybe Guava, maybe Guava and Intense. Maybe he was playing 14 Nancy Drew games all at the same time. Maybe he put Secrets Can Kill, Stay Tuned for Danger, Message in a Haunted Mansion, Treasure in a Royal Tower, The Final Scene, Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake, Secret of the Scarlet Hand, uh, Danger on Deception Island, Secret... Maybe he just had all the Nancy Drew games on all 14 laptops, and maybe he was just, like, you know, trying to play them all at the same time. Maybe that's what he was doing. And he was on a mission. He was on a mission to complete 14 Nancy Drew games all at the same time. He was speed running. Peppermint Cutie says, <laughs> Intense, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome to the Italian Gamer Joe community. Uh, Peppermint Cutie says, Yeah, the family tries to return the stuff, but they never have the card, so we have to give them store credit. Oh, man. I mean, at least you give store credit. At least store credit, you know. At least you give store credit. <laughs> Probably, right? All right, let's finish this conversation with Lucas, because Lucas has been so patient with us. Aren't you worried about getting in trouble with Carl? Oh, Carl can't catch me. That's just how it is. Carl couldn't catch a cold that was looking for him. He couldn't catch a ball if you glued it to his hand. He couldn't catch an acorn if he was the ground. I can continue if you'd like. You can continue? Okay, yeah, do it. Okay, go ahead. He couldn't catch a, a thing if he was a different thing. I really didn't expect you to say yes. <laughs> At least he's being honest. At least he's like, you know what? I, I, I genuinely wasn't expecting you to say yes. Have you always lived here? Yep, the whole time. My dad's the head of security here, so I know pretty much everything there is to know about everyone here. Janice's redemption. Most of it's boring, but not all of it. Janice's. What do you mean? I can't tell you. I'd get in trouble. But it's bad. My dad says all castles have bloody histories because they're built by greedy <sighs> men. He says that a lot. Janeezy's Redemption of Hydrate is brought to you by Ice Mountain Water. Thank you very much for the redemption. Intense with the Italian hands. Forget about it. Thank you for the redemption. Uh. What does he mean when he says that? I can't tell you. Also, I don't really know. Thanks. See you later. See you later. Peppermint Q says, usually whoever is ringing them out hides dozens of products away and it still works out several times. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. That is crazy. I can't believe that. Okay. So, what do we have to do in this game so far? Still have to do that. This is, so this Did that. Can't check that off yet. That's done. I like how Nancy's do checklist says, explore the well. I have no idea, was there? It sounds crazy. Ooh, money. This Nancy Drew game is huge. Like, there's a lot and there's a lot like of stuff. Like this game is big. And this is Carl. I don't remember where to go. This game is big. Like, it's a very, very big Nancy Drew game. Like, there's a lot of, like, places to do and explore. Like, I gotta say, for this Nancy Drew game specifically is a very, like, it's a very, um, they do a really good job. I have to translate that. They do a really good job with, like, the environment building and just how much there is to explore in this game. Because there really is a lot, like... You're not expecting it, but they really do a good job with it. There must be a specific order to play these in. And then not only that, but this is only like half the game. Like there's still more. The the Fett family goes full on with the Lenderhosen. I know, right, the Lederhosen? They really do. And I think Nancy can go into the forest because we have to investigate that burr we found. But I don't know if, is there anything back here? Like, there's even a forest connected to the castle, and you can get lost in this forest. I hope Nancy doesn't die. This forest is bringing me, like, 
Nancy Drew Ghost Dogs of the same oh. kind of burr that I found in the storefront. You're right, Guava. I didn't speak to Renate yet. Oh, I'd better find a way to clear a path first. Nancy's like German book. <laughs> I'm just gonna use the German book, the German dictionary, to clear the path. Um, yeah, we need something for it. I have no idea where to go. I'm like so lost right now. Where do I go? I think I went in a big circle. <laughs> Nancy's like, I'm stuck. <laughs> Nancy's like, help me. Is that a tree? <gasps> I just found money. That's cool. And there's the burr. Candy girl's like thinking, 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 thinking. I think I'm lost. I have no idea where to go. Oh, I'm so lost right now. This is like, this is like, uh, this is literally Ghost Dogs and Moon Lake. Everything looks the same. I mean, I'm starting to notice patterns. Like, there's the burr. And then you go this way, and you go this way, and you go this way. Where are we? Money, money, money. Yeah, I know, right? There's this streamer that I watch. She goes by Tina Balducci. And uh, I highly recommend checking her out. She's from Canada, and she's a big Nancy Drew game streamer. She also is an indie game developer making her own uh, Nancy Drew-inspired game. And uh, whenever someone gives her bits, it plays that song where it's like, money, 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 here comes the money. And it's so funny. She, she's an awesome streamer. I highly recommend checking her out. Can we get a shout out to Tina Balducci? I, she, she doesn't, she usually goes to bed at this time, but like, she's a really, um, she's a cool streamer. Um, and she's like really funny. Okay, let's see. I'm literally going in circles. Nancy's like, monster, I'm here for you. <laughs> Jenny Z, thank you so much for the bitty. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, Peppermint Cutie, I want to just click while I'm reading. Peppermint Cutie says, possibly, but he seems to have a legit problem. My coworker was so incensed when she experienced them for the first time while I was ringing them out, was clutching and taking care of customers. Even when the manager said they were being legit, she was saying she wouldn't allow them in the store. When I said he'd go somewhere else. They could be someone else's pro Wow. Yeah, that's... I'm Peppermint Cutie, you, go, you went through a lot. I'm sorry. Ah! Ouch! <laughs> oh my god. Nancy's hurt voice sounds hilarious. I, leg I, I legit don't know where to go. Mira, I have no idea where I am. I'm literally just exploring this forest, and I'm completely lost. It was like right, then right, then right, then right, then left, <laughs> left, then right, then left, then right, then left, then right. Candy Girl said, but Candy Girl, it's not right. One of the things that fascinates me about Nancy's character is that she seems legitimately fearless. She has the same mildly concerned tone of voice when being menaced by an apparent monster or an attempted murder. <laughs> General, I know, right? But, like, honestly, though, if there's one thing about Nancy Drew that I love, it's that I like her more than the Hercule Poirot games. I like her more than the Sherlock Holmes games. Um... I feel like her interactive, there's so much heart to these games, and as silly as they can be sometimes, like, there's just so much heart that goes into them, like, it's, and it's, it's so sad, because the original Her Interactive team isn't around anymore, like, like, Her Interactive let go of the majority of their staff, um, but, like, I feel like there's so much heart to these games, like, they're just so, like, um... I feel like they did a really good job building the character. People who have those kinds of issues are not going to listen to their families if they try to tell them they can't go back somewhere. I know, right? Joe just stumbled into the woods. 
It's okay, Guava. I'll figure it out. What's that stuff? The butt, butt, butt spot? Peppermint Cutie, it's random. It's randomized. If you see Garlic on the ground, you were near the exit. Every couple of messages it goes... Yeah, exactly. It's just completely random. Uh, well, there's the Garlic. So, if I'm by the Garlic, should I go near the Garlic? I went near the Garlic, but now I can go left or right. So, do I go right or left? I found it. I found the exit. Thank the Lord. Okay. We found the exit. Isn't there like a puzzle nearby? I, oh yeah, we can't solve it yet. We can't solve it yet. Um. But yeah, this game is a lot of fun, and like, so far it's it's a blast to play through. It's it's this this game they did a really good job with it. Like, there's just so much like you can. We did it. We did it. We did it! Yay! Oh my god. We did it. That's awesome. We went over the bridge and passed through, yeah. we Oh my god, and even in that blurp, Dora says we went over the bridge and passed the troll. That was contextual. Like, that even worked, because, like, Dora mentions we went over the bridge and passed These the troll. These are pretty dull, but they might come in handy. Isn't that so funny? Dora went over the bridge and passed the troll. That's what we did. We went over the bridge and passed the 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 brawl. The brawl? Is that what it's called? I don't remember. Kenny Girl says, oh, you did call Ned back too. We didn't call Ned. Ned Ned is a wreck. Ned feels really bad right now. Ned is just like, oh my god. I what did I do? Now Nancy's gonna date Frank Hardy, and I'm the worst boyfriend ever. <laughs> Nancy, Nancy is literally like, free no, Ned is freaking out right now because Nancy is just like, Ned is the most long-suffering person ever. I know, right, General? General, do you play the Nancy Drew games? Are you a Nancy Drew game fan? Have you, um, have you played them? Um, I love the Nancy Drew games. I think they're a blast to play through. Um, okay, so... I think I'm going to save the game and get ready to raid someone. I think this is a good time to stop for tonight. Uh, but before I completely raid someone, I wanted to show off something really fast. Um, so, hi, Aaron Casey Gamers. Hope you're having a wonderful night. It's Aaron, I, I saw you live playing Nancy Drew and... Um, how was Haunting of Castle Malloy? I, I saw you walking around and I was like, oh, cool. Intense, thank you so much for the biddies. I really appreciate that. Um, okay, so I have this really cool video that I... I have this really cool video I wanted to share real quick uh, before I, like, rate someone. Uh, but, Aaron, hope you're having a wonderful night. Nine hours, Aaron. You are dedicated. You are dedicated. Um, that's amazing. Guava, thank you so much for gifting a tier 1 sub to Faizo me. I really appreciate it. Guava, thank you so much. Thank you. For those who are here, please consider giving Erin Casey Gamers a follow. She plays the Nancy Drew games, and uh, she's very, very active on Discord. She has an amazing community, and she's awesome. So definitely go check out Erin. Her content is fantastic, and um, I like highly recommend checking her content out. Just overall fantastic person. And... Um, she's just an amazing person to hang out with and her community is very accepting and very open minded so definitely check that out as well um before i go i wanted to share something really cool really fast um do any of you in the chat play beat saber or any of you virtual reality fans um i really quickly wanted to share um my beat saber playthrough i was playing beat saber and um, there's this song that came out on Beat Saber called Final Boss Chan, and I played it on Expert, and I'm really trying hard to play it on Expert Plus, but oh my god, it's so hard. It's so hard. But I just wanted to show a little bit of this video of how much, what I went through. Oh my god, it's insane. Like, this is me, like, this is me playing it on Expert, on Expert, not Expert Plus. Expert Plus is insanity. It's, it, the, uh, this song is made by Camellia, which is the same group that does Crystallized, which Crystallized, by the way, is insane. But um, I wanted to show you all what I went through playing this, and you're gonna hear my voice. Check this out. Hey everyone, it's me. I am gonna do the expert mode. That's my voice, Final and you can Boss hear me. A new update to Beat Saber. Uh, can you all hear it? Okay. 
OST volume five. This is in, it. this is insanity. So, uh, this is a really fun song, and I just wanted to show up. By the way, I'm playing uh, this on the Meta Quest really 2, hard. a.k.a. Yeah. the Oculus Quest 2. It. I'm like, um, it's a workout. If you're a virtual... It's a crazy workout. Um, so Sorry, yeah, I'll wait fun. for myself to stop. If you're a virtual reality fan or you want to play virtual reality, I highly recommend Oculus Quest 2. <laughs> can you all hear this okay? Like, you can hear, can, you can hear it, right? This is insanity. Yeah, the diagonals are crazy. Um, this is this is the expert difficulty. Expert plus is the same thing, but like it's just really fast. Um, when I finished this song, I was like, I was sweating. My hands and my arms were like. Uh, so they added a brand new mechanic to the game. Uh, they're called sliders, and then there's um, I forgot. What I think they're called arcs. This was insanity. This took me forever. This this took me forever. I mean, I did this and this took me forever. And this is just expert. It's not even expert plus. I'm literally like having like this game is so addicting and it's a huge workout. This game is a huge workout. I know, right, Mira? This summer. Coming this summer. Those are the arcs. That's the new feature they added. They added arcs. Where you have to, like, hold the note while you see the little wisps in the air. And you kind of have to watch the wisps as you're going. It's really cool. But yeah, this song is really, really hard. And it's a lot of fun. It's part of a new Beat Saber update. And it's for free, included with the game. Um, this was so much fun to play through. It's such a fun song. I highly recommend Oculus Quest. I got Oculus Quest 2, sorry. And you don't need a good computer. Everything is built into the headset. Yeah, if you're looking to get virtual reality, check out the Oculus Quest 2. Everything's built into the headset. You don't need a good computer. It's just the three hundred dollars, and it's well American dollars, and it's 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 so cool. <laughs> oh my God, this was insane! This was insane. <laughs> Holy shit, that was insane. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> One thousand four hundred sixty eight out of fifteen hundred notes, max combo one sixty five. Oh my god. Oh, this song is such a workout. Anyway, thanks for watching. So yeah, I uh I if you are contemplating getting uh virtual reality, um I highly recommend uh picking up the Oculus Quest 2. Um it's a really, really amazing virtual reality headset. You can get it at pretty much anywhere. Uh you can get it at at Walmart, Target, Best Buy, it's available anywhere. Amazon sells them if you prefer, like, um, I'll just go to the um, Amazon, not the Amazon, sorry. Um, this is the Quest 2 store. Um, it's $2.99 USD. I'm not, I'm not sure how much that, com that that translates to for other countries, but um, the Quest 2 is amazing. I'm not, this is not a sponsorship. I, this is just what I own, and it's amazing. You don't need a computer to play it, and, um, 
I love uh, playing virtual reality games. Like like the beat like Beat Saber is so much fun. Honestly, the 128 gig is all you need. It's really I mean all the games that I have on my Quest Two like they're barely like it's like a gig or a gig or two gigs like super simple. Um, so yeah, and like another reason why I recommend the Quest Two is because there's this game and and it's called Supernatural Fitness. Peppermint Cutie, hope you have a great night. Thank you so much for coming in. Um, Supernatural Fitness is only available on the Oculus Quest 2. And um, the way it works is that it's like Beat Saber, but they also have boxing. And uh, they have, like, a batting one. And uh, they do it to, like, modern day songs. They even have, like, meditation and stretching. And then these are all the coaches. that, And you can – there's actually a Facebook group where you can actually, like, talk to the coaches and stuff. And, like, um, they're all, like, really cool. Um, I think Coach Mark is really hot. <laughs> but they're all really beautiful coaches but yeah anyway um yeah it's a really cool community um it's a really cool experience like seeing all this and uh, i think the facebook group has like fifty thousand members it's like growing and there's like an insane community for this um it's a really cool it's a really cool experience and uh whenever i do a supernatural workout i'm literally drenched like i'm drenched like from the head down like completely drenched it's like like if you're debating between like an a thousand dollar like peloton um or like some kind of like you know uh crazy like workout like check out an oculus quest and check out like supernatural um this is like it's it's such a cool it's such a cool like experience and like like do your research like look up some of the success stories i've seen people lose like tons of weight like on, on the facebook group it's a really cool experience and um um it's really cool getting the opportunity to see so many people work with supernatural and uh it's such a cool experience like it's it's so cool seeing that wonderful community out there and like i said this is not, this is not a sponsorship it's just something that i've been going through recently and uh it's super 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 cool um anyway anyway I'm going to go back to my Twitch dashboard and see, like, who's online tonight. I also just want to say thank you so much, everybody, for all the raids. For all the raids and all the love and all the bits and the subscribe and the follows. Like, you are all such wonderful, amazing people. And it's been an amazing experience getting the chance to talk to all of you and hang out with all of you tonight. And, you know, um, it's just, it's I, I'm so happy to get the opportunity to be friends here and create this wonderful community. And... Um, we're all, you know, we're all friends here. We're all like a big Nancy Drew community and a Sea of Thieves community and a Beat Saber community and a uh, adventure game community. Just so many things. And um, I really appreciate getting the opportunity to just hang out with all of you. So thank you. Thank you, everybody, for, you know, for just being so awesome and just giving me the opportunity to just hang out with all of you. Um, I'm going to look through my phone and just see who's online tonight, see who I'm going to raid. Um... Okay, so there's a few people that I'm thinking about raiding tonight. Um, there's no specific Nancy Drew game streamers that are live right now. Um, but there is one streamer that I do follow. And um, Okay, I think I'm going to raid... Okay, um... I'm going to raid Apollo. He goes by Career Polo, and um, he is a variety game streamer. He plays a lot of Dead by Daylight. Um, he's currently playing some Guild Wars 2. Really nice guy, and uh, his re really cool community. Um, him and Banana Extravaganza, another streamer, they're both a lot of fun to hang out with and talk to, and they just joke around a lot. They're really, really funny people, and uh, so nice people. Super nice. Like They're just really cool, and uh, they come to the stream like pretty frequently, so... Um, we're going to go ahead and drop them a raid. Um, once again, thank you all so much for coming in tonight. It's been lovely getting the chance to meet all of you and to hang out with all of you. And I really just appreciate just everything. Thank you for all of you out there that raided me. Thank you for sharing your communities with me. I really just appreciate it so much. And it's been, a, it's been a pleasure. Um, if you ever want to come back to Italian Gamer Joe, I usually stream every other day. Um, feel free to tack, to turn on those notifications for when I go live. Um, also check out the Discord community. You are more than welcome to self-promote on there and grow your community on there as well. Um, also check out my YouTube channel. Um, Super Spy Academy will be coming soon to Steam, so I'll, I'll let you all know when you can wishlist it. 
Um, but once again, thank you all so much for coming in tonight. I really appreciate it. It's been an honor and hope you all have a wonderful evening. See you all next time. Italian Gamer Joe is signing off. Mwah. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't even press the raid now button. I'm so stupid. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Did I raid yet? No. Did I raid? I'm double checking now. Okay. <laughs>